Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chriselle, and today we're continuing on with Stray Gods. This is part number two slash act two, so if you've not watched first part, definitely watch that one first. I'll actually leave the full place link for this playthrough down in the description box, as well as all my social links and the content warning list will be down there as well. All right, so last time we had just finished off kind of getting into a bit of a fight with Persephone and Apollo, and I did end up deciding to go with Apollo because honestly, he has a little bit of a sweet spot in my heart, but I'm very curious to kind of see where things end up leading today because I feel like the first part is usually about introductions and kind of setting up the scene with the trial and everything like that. So I'm hoping that today we'll be able to get to know the characters a little bit more in depth and just kind of try to get to the bottom of things a little bit more as well. Anyways, as always, we will be streaming us live on Twitch, so if you'll check my inside and talk to people, that is why. Also, don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube and give a thumbs up if you're liking it. It helps me a lot, but otherwise, let's just go and get started. Hello, Grace. Welcome back. Hey, Freddy. Have, have you been waiting up this whole time? I, uh, yeah? A goat man sends you off into the night. Your life is on the line. And I'm gonna, what, sleep? What if you were taken prisoner, kept in a cave by a cyclops, or I don't know, turned into a tree? I was worried sick. Oh my god, you were worried? Oh, how sweet. I mean, honestly, her concerns are pretty fair. You were worried about me? <laughs> Aw. Well, you're my best friend. In the oh my whole god, best world, Grace. <laughs> Plus, you know, what would the band do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, the band. Where are Kaz and Brian anyway? I told them you were fine, which isn't a lie, because technically you are. <laughs> now tell me everything that happened. Huh. Persephone runs a club called the Underworld. That's a little on the nose. I wouldn't True. suggest saying that to her face. <laughs> and you ended up siding with Apollo? Yeah, oh, yeah, said I did. prophecy? Do you trust him? Uh, y y <laughs> Yeah. His idols are all crazy. Not really. I think so. What about the, yes, I'm head over heels in love with him? I'm not um, sure. I think so. Where's that option? <laughs> it doesn't seem like he's lying, but he's hard to read. Famous last words. <laughs> Tell me about it. So what are your options? You need to go back to Apollo's place, right? I could go <sighs> yeah. back to the underworld. Make sure Persephone isn't taking my decision personally. Oh, yeah. Oh, and uh, there's this. Pan left a card. Says, come by Olympus. <laughs> I doubt he means the mountain in Greece. Maybe it's whatever the modern day Olympus is. Idols live there. Could he want? I just spoke to him. Did we? Actually, I guess we did. We talked to him at Persephone's club and then we had the whole kerfuffle with Apollo and Persephone. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, what does huh. he want? I wonder what he wants. Probably to cash in his precious favor. Still not a fan? <laughs> you know how some people just set your teeth on edge? That's Pan. I can't no. help it. But she got the it ick. doesn't matter. <laughs> I said I'd help and that's what I'll do. You can count on me, Grace. Thanks, Freddy. Cute. The muse? Oh, the embodiment of inspiration. Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> Is it bad? I was like low-key kind of shipping Freddy with Pan. Just kind of wanted the enemies to lovers. Okay, so we can talk to Pan, talk to Persephone, talk to Apollo. Day three. I think we should check in on Persephone because we had to pick between her and Apollo and she's already not very trusting. I'm a little bit worried about what she thinks. So perhaps we'll give her a little visit. As I recall, Grace, when I said stay or leave, you chose to leave. If it wasn't clear, I don't give second chances. Or did you have some other reason for darkening my doorstep. I'm in love with you. <laughs> Can't I enjoy the club? Still need help. Wanted to see you. Apologize for Apollo. Well, we have the charming options. So let's Couldn't be here for the cool music and a drink. I definitely need one. Me too. <laughs> Am I supposed to believe you're here to blow off steam? We could blow off together, Don't man. Don't you <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, here I thought I could drink. Lady, you have <gasps> my respect and admiration. Let's go. <laughs> You'll have an idol's fortitude in time. Now, however, I need to call our little evening to an end. Oh, or we could continue. See you later. Will you help me now? Um, we're gonna flirt. We're gonna flirt. Oh, so soon? I was just thinking how much I like the music here. Oh, is the that music. So? Well, the dance floor is that way. <gasps> are we gonna dance to together? Me? Oh, shit. Uh -huh. My dancing days are over, Grace. Fuck. Do enjoy yourself. Drinks are on the house. Okay. One last word of advice before you go. <laughs> If you want to survive, don't look to anyone else for help. Not Apollo, not Pan, not even me. You walked away from my offer, and I respect that. Make your choices and live with them. Okay, fair enough. No, I don't actually get to go to the club. Heartbreaker achievement? What? No harm in checking out all your options. Oh my god, I got an achievement for flirting with more than one person. I'm so sorry. Um... <laughs> Should I talk to Apollo first or should I go and talk to Pan? I don't know what's gonna lock me out of what, you know what I mean? I kinda wanna talk to Pan, but we probably should check in with Apollo. Okay, let's talk to Apollo. Maybe it won't lock us out. Maybe we'll be able to do both, hopefully. Well, this place is such a dump. <laughs> He's living oh, the surfer Christ, life back. 
That's good. I was just about to call you. Uh, he means he wants me to call you because Paul here still hasn't figured out how to use a phone. That... That's not true. I know how. I just don't like them. They're confusing. <laughs> Anyhow, I've been contemplating our list of suspects, and I think Pan is someone we need to consider. Oh, well then what's this about phones? Yeah, I kind of want to... You don't like phones? I... Uh, I just don't like talking to people I can't see. No, it's the ringtones. They scare the crap out of him. I kid you not. I'm not frightened. Only a child would be frightened. They're just very loud. <laughs> yeah. Can we return to the subject of Pan, please? I thought you discounted Pan? Yeah, I thought so Why too. Why Pan? I thought you'd rejected him as a suspect. Persephone did, but I've had time to think it over. Pan is a schemer, a traitor in favors. He always has been. His sudden appearance in all this cannot be coincidental. You think he could mm. have killed Calliope after all? Perhaps. Or he knows who did and is trying to turn it to his benefit. Oh. He always knows more than he pretends. You should know. Pan asked me to meet him at Olympus. I'm not sure why. Wait, he wants to see you again? I don't like this. Is somebody jealous? <laughs> Should I not go? Me neither. I think he's harmless. I don't know. I kind of want to go, though. Why? Is he that bad? Should I not go? No. Perhaps it's best that you do, even if it's just to find out what he wants and okay, why. Okay, okay. All right. Aphrodite is holding a party of sorts, one you should oh. attend. She is closest to Pan. Indeed, she knows almost all the idols. If anyone is up to something, she's bound to know. Oh, why can't you talk to Aphrodite? What kind of party is this? I could just talk to Pan. I don't know. Maybe. I still have that invitation from Pan. Maybe it'd be easier if I just went to see him. You could, but would you believe anything he had to say? I might be able to coax some truth out of him. <laughs> I can be persuasive. Well, whatever you do, be careful. I still think Aphrodite is our best bet. Why can't you talk to Aphrodite? You know Aphrodite better than I do. Can't you talk to her? <laughs> Well, talking to Aphrodite isn't something anyone does with much success these days. Well, if that's the case, what makes you think I'll get anywhere? There's a standing invitation for the muse to attend this party. Oh. Calliope never went, so Aphrodite will be thrilled to see you. Trust me. Sure. If I thought you couldn't get her to talk, I wouldn't suggest it. Yeah, we haven't really been able to talk with her much. We kind of saw her when we first met the chorus, and I think that maybe is it. I don't think we've actually talked to her again. What kind of party is this? What do you mean by a party of sorts? I mean, I'm always down for a party but um it's more of a remembrance than a party really it's difficult to describe that's awfully vague apollo <laughs> it'll be easier to see for yourself it's nothing you can't handle okay i'll go eventually perfect all right i will see you there oh my god are we going together uh paul <laughs> you should see this the names you wanted me to look up are getting weird results i don't doubt it i was hoping you could get over here no worries paul <laughs> i'll see you later <laughs> Cute. Okay. I should go to Aphrodite's party or see what Pan wants, I guess. Oh. Would we get more information from him if we do it in a certain order? Because maybe we would get more if we talk to him before and then Aphrodite's party and then go and ask him more questions. Or maybe we'd get more from him if we figure out his intents from Aphrodite first? Maybe we'll go to the party first, just in case. I, I don't know. It'll be fine. Oh my god. Hello, Apollo. <laughs> he is so broody. <laughs> Fancy party? Check. Hundred strangers? Check. Grace totally not dressed for the occasion? Check. <laughs> now, if only I knew what I was supposed to be doing here. Mm. Grace, you made it. I'm so glad. I was beginning to wonder. You didn't say this was a fancy party. I feel a little underdressed. Yeah. Grace, look at me. I didn't even button up my shirt. It's fine. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice. <laughs> Why is everyone so quiet? You think someone died. <laughs> I... I should have told you about this earlier. I've been putting it off. Oh, someone did die. Oh, you're cute when you worry. Can't be that bad. Doesn't sound good. Um, we're gonna flirt. Mm, you're cute when you're all angsty. Oh you get this little God. crinkle in your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> you might not think I'm so cute after I explain. You're always gonna be cute. <laughs> You don't have oh. any of Calliope's memories, right? No deja vu recollections that aren't your own? No. Should I have? Not right away. For a while, you won't remember anything. We call it the veil. Oh. In time, okay. the veil will start to lift. Slowly at first, but eventually you'll remember almost everything Calliope did. Oh. Wait, so then why are we rushing to trial? Which is literally a decision about if we live or die because of Calliope's murder or usurping. Couldn't we just wait until the veil is lifted to figure out what happened? Because obviously Calliope 
maybe would remember who killed her. See, Athena's just looking more and more suspicious by the second. Like, I didn't trust her from the start, but there's no real reason to rush it. What happens to me? Okay, so we don't have this option because we don't have that trait. Nobody told me that. Sounds kind of cool. Hmm. Yeah, nobody told Seems me that. Seems like the sort of thing you should tell a new idol. <laughs> new idols are usually chosen. You would know about this already, except... But we were chosen. Except Calliope was murdered. Oh. Yeah, that too. Remember how old we all are. There are so many memories, so the veil lifts gradually to protect you. Eventually, it's Makes like sense. a flood. It becomes difficult to separate what's you and what's them, and all who came before them. Will I become Calliope? That sounds awful. Not sure what to think. Ooh. Will I? You're saying I won't be me. I won't be Grace. Will I start calling myself Calliope? Maybe. Eventually, oh. what most of us do, but... Most of us were chosen and prepared. <laughs> and I didn't choose this. I understand. Take some time to let it sink in. If you like, we can talk about it later. What? Okay, yeah. What does this have to do with the party? Aphrodite <gasps> hasn't been the same since we came to the New World. She has horrific memories of what she endured during the war. Oh, Passing shit. Passing on her Eidolon is a way to forget for a while. That's what this party is for. Oh, so I wonder then if there's a party like this every single time it's passed on. Well, probably not every time, but maybe if it's like really planned out. But he said again. In. So has she done it before? Okay, so Africa is gonna die. Pretty extreme. Why have a party for it? Mm. Why throw a party sure. for it? Doesn't that mean everyone's here to watch her die? Yeah, I suppose so. We're also here to celebrate. We're here to help Aphrodite remember before she forgets again. Yeah, sounds like a real banger. <laughs> this party isn't for us, Grace. It's for her. Do you support this? Oh, Aphrodite's done this before? Well, he did say again, so I feel like that's kind of implied. Do you support what Aphrodite is doing here? It's not my choice to make, Grace. Yeah, but but you must have an opinion. Eventually, you will remember what we experienced during the war. And eventually, you will remember that what Aphrodite experienced was far worse. If this is mm. the mercy she requires, I will not tell her she should not take it. I can kind of understand both perspectives, because if it's, like, that horrific and everything like that, then it kind of makes sense why she's making that decision. But, like, whoever the thing is passed on to, they will keep recalling all of the memories. And if she's done it before, then you're just kind of dooming the next person to the same fate, you know what I mean? Because they will also recall all the horrific things as well and then the same thing will happen over and over again but it kind of seems like that's how things work here like for all of them so i don't know okay so. this isn't the first time aphrodite's done this she's held this kind of gathering before right this is her fourth i think perhaps fifth so every time the veil whatever you call it when it starts to lift aphrodite's memories return and eventually it is too much mm. we gather to pay our respects and to honor the past while she still remembers it mm, okay calliope didn't approve he said before that Calliope had been invited and that she's never gone before. Wait, wait, wait. Calliope refused to come to these parties. That's what no. you said. She refused on principle. Everything Calliope did was on principle. She believed Aphrodite was indulging her sadness, wallowing in it. Mm. She thought Aphrodite should try harder. Was a oh. point of contention between them. Aphrodite will be grateful you're here. Trust me. That kind of makes me feel icky. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Mm. That feels very like anytime someone's struggling with any sort of mental illness or ailment or whatever, and people are just like, mm, just get over it. <laughs> like, mm, I don't like that. I'm kind of stuck between, I feel like when you're in that dark of a pit, that might seem like the answer. And especially because it happens over and over and over again. So I feel like I don't like it because, mm, I don't know, because in one way it's like, okay, it should be her decision, obviously. Only she knows what she's going through. But then on the other hand, it's like, maybe we could explore different avenues if if it keeps happening over and over like maybe it should be addressed and like treated or something because that feels like it's ptsd right um I don't know. I don't really like I it. I don't know, Apollo. I don't like the whole idea. You want her help, don't you? Yes, but... At least speak with Aphrodite before you make a final decision. Yeah. She's not here just yet. Until she arrives, I suggest mingling. Mingling. Yeah, <laughs> mingling. Talk to Eros. Eros. Or we can talk more if you like. Just try to relax, Grace. I would gladly sure, talk yeah. to Eros. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this party is for, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm definitely gonna go and talk to Eros. This beautiful, sad man. Hello, sir. <laughs> Grace! Hey, Eros. Nice to... Oh! <laughs> so cute! Oh. Okay. Aphrodite will be so happy you're here. It means so much. You have no idea. Oh, yeah, because... Oh, did, what did he say? Aphrodite is like his mom. Maybe not like literally, but essentially his mom. Yeah, are you okay? Are you okay? You seem a bit... Every time she does this, I don't know how to handle it. I almost oh. want to run upstairs and demand she stop. Remind her that this never works. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't unload on you. It's, it's, it's been a bad week. 
Yeah, feel for you. This happens a lot. I don't like this at all. It's okay. Feel for you. Hey, hey, I understand. This can't be easy. <laughs> She's the one who is suffering. I shouldn't be complaining. Mm -hmm. I just hate this. I, I'm there every day going through it all with her. The, the nightmares, the panic attacks, the, the weeks when she just won't get out of bed. I'm, I'm there when she forgets the war's over and I hold her until the screaming stops me. I do that. That sounds awful. And now I'm arranging her gathering again so she can die again and I'll watch it all again. Oh god. Yeah, I can't even imagine because like you're essentially having to say goodbye to the person over and over and over and then try to have them remember who you are in their life as well. That sounds really hard. Is there no other way? Is there no other way? Does Aphrodite really need to... To die? I've asked that so many times. She's tried magic, drugs, psychotherapy, meditation, everything we could possibly think of. Mm. But for a while, she'll deny anything's wrong. It all seems fine and I start to hope. Maybe this time will be different. Then the nightmares begin and the memories return more with each passing day until i hate it but i see her agony i can't deny her this yeah it's not like suicide mm, yeah kind of maybe i just don't understand but isn't this like suicide some of the idols have committed suicide they let themselves die without passing on their idol on oh what happens what you'd expect they're gone forever mother says she can't do that she won't not until she sees hephaestus again i suspect not Who? that What's happening here is anything casual. She, she still has to die for a while. Mm, okay, what happened to her? Is it okay if I ask what happened? I don't mean to pry, but I'm new. I, I really don't know. No, it's okay. I wouldn't usually talk about it, but I know you don't mean any harm. What happened is that brother Ares happened. He missed out on the first world-spanning war, you see. So he was damned if he'd miss out on the next one. He found some jack-booted mortals, so full of themselves and their supremacy, and he told them about the idols. Then they came for us, took us completely by surprise. Some they killed, but Aphrodite, her they captured. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. Oh. She escaped? I mean, obviously she's here. Aphrodite but... was captured, but she's here now, so she must have escaped. She didn't. Do you know the name Hephaestus? I don't. No. Should I? God of Smiths. He could make anything, any tool or weapon. He was Aphrodite's husband, oh. and he adored her. Oh. When he found out the mortals were torturing her, he went mad. He was determined to save her. They, they tortured her? Nothing extreme, I'm told. They were too frightened, but they were also determined to wring every last secret out of her. So, who knows how long that fear would have lasted. Thus, Hephaestus made a deal. With the, um, jackbooted guys? No, with their enemies. That's what saved her. Oh. I feel like it's weird to say they tortured her and then be like, nothing that bad. <laughs> Just a little bit of torture. <laughs> like, God. Tell me about this deal. Then this deal is how Aphrodite survived. It's how we all survived. It's what brought us to the new world. Oh, Hephaestus shit. saved us all. We never saw him again. <laughs> that was the deal. He would leave, make their precious weapons, and never look back. Oh, shit. Aphrodite never even got to say goodbye. It's funny, because Aphrodite didn't even like Hephaestus when they were married. Oh. She seemed to resent every minute they were together. But now, now he's all she can think about. Yeah, I guess it's like the guilt slash, I should have been this way, I should have said this thing, I should have this, this, that, right? I wonder why she didn't like him, though? I don't know the backstories and stuff of all the Greek gods and such like that, so maybe it's super obvious and I'm just unaware. You don't seem to approve. I want to stop this. Let's ask how he feels. I feel like how I feel is not really important here. You sound here. like you don't approve of what Aphrodite's doing. What I want is for her to not hurt anymore. What I want is for this to end. She'll ask you to use your power as part of the celebration. Could you use it to inspire her? What do you mean by that? I can't force anyone to do anything they don't want to, Eros. That's not what I'm asking. I believe that deep down she doesn't want to do this any longer. She oh. must see it isn't working. She just needs the strength to to try. Or I hope that's all she needs. What if you're wrong? It's not up to me. I'll do my best. I mean, all of these things, yes. I mean, if he's wrong, like, we can't force anything. So if she does want to keep living, like, as she is right now, then we would, in theory, be able to. Versus if she absolutely did not, and we wouldn't be able to convince her anyways. So it would have the same outcome, I guess? In terms of, like, if we fail, then she would go through it, like, regardless. But I feel <sighs> it's really not up to me, but I... What if you're wrong? What if you're wrong? What if she decides not to do this and it keeps getting worse? Then I'll be with her to help her reach the other side. If she can. Yeah, if she can. Uh... It's a lot to ask. I'll understand if you can't. All I want, one way or another, is to get through tonight. Oh, shit. Um, okay. It's hard to make decisions because I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like I can understand both perspectives. I don't know. I don't know. And I really, I mean, oh, God. 
wait for Aphrodite to talk to Apollo. I feel like really what we need to do is talk to Aphrodite. Because I already said that she's kind of tried everything under the sun, you know? I just, so... <sighs> But I, hmm. I mean, if we are able to convince her of this and she does ultimately decide that again, because obviously if she's done this multiple times, if we're able to convince her to keep living for a little while longer, maybe that could be good. She might still ultimately decide that that's the option that she wants like later. But I don't know if it's like rude for me. Like, I really don't know her. I mean, hmm. okay, let's talk to Apollo. Perhaps he will have something of wisdom to say. I... I know all these people, Grace, for as long as I can remember I've known them. Yet sometimes I feel like I don't know any of them at all, or they me. You don't seem comfortable. Eros wants us to stop. Um... You don't enjoy these family gatherings, do you? Are they family gatherings? <laughs> <laughs> like the sort mortals have? You call each other sister and brother and mother. <laughs> oh, yes, but... And you've been together like a hundred times longer than I lived with my family. All you're missing is a drunk uncle everyone has to apologize for. <laughs> um, that would be Pan. <laughs> but yes, I feel very much out of place. Oh, how adorably awkward of you. Oh my god. You look like you're in physical pain just being here. Oh, enjoying my discomfort, are you? Yeah. <laughs> of course, it humanizes you. Makes up for all the abs on display. <laughs> I'm so glad you approve. Yeah, you don't have to apologize for that, ever. <laughs> okay. I spoke to Eros. He's pretty broken up over all this. Oh, poor Eros. Each new successor, his hopes rise up once more. And then he watches mm. the new Aphrodite crumble, piece by piece, only to start all over again. It's so different from the olden days. Once he was the eternal disaster, and Aphrodite kept constant vigil over him. Maybe he feels like he owes her. I think he's followed her into a dark void, and somewhere deep down believes he deserves no better. I should get back out there. Why do you say it like that, though? What did he do that he... He feels like he deserves it. Yeah, I guess one of the things I hadn't really considered is that maybe the next person that it gets passed on to, if you're able, well, see, I don't know though if you're able to or not, but if you're able to keep some semblance of yourself as well as eventually kind of morphing in with the original, then maybe eventually someone would be able to handle it. But I really don't know the extent enough. All right, let's wait for Aphrodite. Okay. Oh, is this the next person? Hello. My oh, family. So beautiful. Having you all here, gathered once again to see me off, it moves me. More than I can say. My loves, my darlings, my dearest friends. And you. Hi. Oh, my dear sweet thing. I dare not hope that you, with all your troubles, might sing me to my sleep. Yet here you are. Yet here she is. Huh. Yeah, I don't know if it's weird for me to be here. Nice to meet you again. Can we talk in private? Oh, could have invited me? <laughs> I mean, she really doesn't know us. You know, maybe we shouldn't jump into it quite yet. Maybe, you know. It's lovely to meet you, Aphrodite. Yeah. Properly, this time. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Poor Calliope. Such a loss to us all. I shall miss her dearly. To have come so far, only... No, it doesn't bear thinking about. <laughs> It's too much. Is this Grace, my lady? The new muse? You oh, can about yourself, Aphrodite. Yes, I have. Grace, Grace, meet the lovely mortal woman who shall tonight become the new me. Mortal. Hi, my name's Venus, and yes, it really is Venus. Nice to meet you, Grace. All right, I didn't question if it was Venus. <laughs> You're okay with this? Nice to meet you. You were chosen. Um, nice to meet you. Yeah, hi, and nice to meet you. We'll both be new at this, huh? Maybe we could uh, get together and compare notes if you uh, survive my trial <laughs> yeah lady aphrodite told me i shouldn't have brought that up i'm sorry there will That's be okay. so much time for you lovelies to speak later now we must prepare for my departure okay i really need your help first tell me what my role is i want to talk you out of this i'm so sorry that, i'm sorry this happened to you <sighs> Okay, usually the question marks ones are like you can pick more than one option. I want to pick this one, but I also... No, should we even be asking for her help at this? But I guess we really have limited time for both our cases, you know, <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. Okay, are let's you sure try it. we can't talk first? I really need your help, Aphrodite. I know you do, my dear. I wish I could be there for you, but I'm afraid my time is up. But yeah, since you've shown such fair. kindness in coming, I will ask Eros to make himself available to you afterwards. There's nothing okay. I know that he does not. He is my son, my truest friend, my longest love. Won't he be 
<laughs> a little distracted. Eros has been through this before, Grace. He knows what must be done. Poor Eros, man. Let's do this one. I'm glad that we can pick this after all. I just want to say, I'm really sorry that this happened to you, that you need to do this. Oh. A babe in our dreary world. And yet already possessed of such earnest purpose. Hmm. Weren't you opposed to this, Grace? Shut up, Apollo! Oh, oh you've come after <laughs> all. You look remarkably well, cousin. Oh. I've had a great deal of time to prepare. I assure you that would not be the case. <laughs> As for you, Grace, have you gathered the true purpose of tonight's gathering? No, I'm confused still. <laughs> to remember. Oh, but I can't pick this. To forget. Ooh, that's a little saucy. Any excuse for a party? I don't know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> All of these seem kind of fucking rude. I, should, I, I don't know. I couldn't say. I'm clueless. An honest answer, I suppose. Not a thought in my Some brain. Some <laughs> say it is about pain, for I have known pain. Some say it is about love, for above all things, I have known love. But truly, tonight is about memory. Memory I want to lose. But first, I shall honor it. Go, enjoy the gathering, Grace. Tell me when you're ready to begin. Uh -huh. Oh, God. I really don't know how I feel about this. I really don't. Begin the ritual. Talk to Apollo. Talk to Venus. Um, I don't know. I don't. Uh, let's talk to Venus first. So I don't really know her and we're kind of in the same boat, I guess. I want to apologize again, Grace. I really messed up. It looks like I'll be it. doing that a lot. Lady Aphrodite said I'm ready, but I don't know. You can't be ready for this? Second thoughts. Ooh. Having second thoughts? If so, now's probably the time to mention it. I would never do that to Lady Aphrodite. I'm just nervous. Oh. That's understandable. If, if I can ask, what does it feel like? After it happened, do you feel different? Not really, no. I was terrified. It happened really fucking fast. I'm not sure. It happened so fast, I didn't know what to think. Calliope died, and then all this happened. You didn't remember anything about her? Who she was? She was just gone? Yeah. Isn't that the point of all this? I just wanted to be sure. <laughs> Too Sometimes same. it doesn't seem like it could be real. Hmm. You're okay with all this? Her name's really Venus. I really don't care. <laughs> How do you know Aphrodite? I'll leave you to it. Well, I mean, she already said that she was okay with this. Okay, let's go with this option you're okay with this are you really okay with all this you know what's gonna happen right i saw a lot of people in crisis at the shelter i knew something was wrong with lady aphrodite she's in so much pain grace she won't let you see how much arrows called me one night desperate she wouldn't stop screaming she didn't know where she was she she's a good person grace a good soul she deserves mercy i don't uh, do I say that? How, yeah, how do you know How her? do you know Aphrodite exactly? <laughs> That's a better option. So I was working at this homeless shelter, right? A couple of years ago, and she came in with one of the older residents. And she was there in this, like, amazing dress. And she's sitting with this guy and really listening to him. Like, they were old friends or something. Ooh. I just thought, what is someone like her doing in a place like this? So I just went over and introduced myself. That's it? Just like that? <laughs> yeah. She came back to the shelter a few times, but by then, I guess she taking an interest in me instead. Hmm. I wonder who she was visiting with. Maybe she was trying to find her husband. Like, would he be in this world? Or like, given his, I forget the name already, his glowy orb thing to somebody else. So maybe she's trying to find his reborn self? Or maybe it's somebody that we know? I really don't care what your name is. Your name's really Venus, huh? But we can ask, I guess. <laughs> Everybody asks me that. Even the other idols. Maybe that's why Lady Aphrodite noticed me in the first place. She says it was fated to be. I say it's because my mama was a diehard hippie. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's just because of like, like the, like Venus, like the, per you know, like, but eh. should I say that? I don't. But don't you feel this is wrong? I don't know. I mean, you're ending your life. It's like some kind of murder-suicide pact. I don't oh, think of it of. like that. Lady Aphrodite is not committing suicide, and I'm not being murdered. Aren't you? Your life is ending. It's being taken over, swallowed up by Aphrodite's grief. I'm becoming part of something bigger, something amazing. Or maybe you're right. It'll be terrible, and I'll end up in so much pain I'll regret it. So why go through with it? Because Lady Aphrodite needs me. Maybe, just maybe, if I'm 
added into the mix of all the people she's been, maybe things will be different. That's kind of what I was saying before. Maybe it would affect the next person differently. I don't know. It just, it feels weird. But I get it. But I, okay, let's talk to Apollo. I need emotional support. Back again. I heard Aidy won't help me. I don't think, yeah, why would she help you? She has no reason to. I don't think I'll have a chance to talk to Aphrodite. Not before, you know. Uh, I was hoping she might have spared a moment. What should I do? You have two choices, Grace. Either you do as she asks and sing her to her rest. At which point Venus won't have Aphrodite's memories yet. Or you somehow convince her to remain with us and hope she's grateful. And doesn't mm. regret it. Or get angry at me for ruining her party. Yeah. Do what you feel is right to risk either way. I don't know what I am. <laughs> Have you spoken with Venus? She seems really... Nice, earnest, a genuinely good person. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> it's not an accident. Ever since the war, Aphrodite has sought out the kindest, the most innocent souls to be her successors. She chooses um. them because she believes that over time, it might make her a better person, a more worthy person. Wouldn't it be better if she chose people who were, I don't know, more resilient. I suppose that depends on your definition of strength, Grace. I should True. get back out there. Maybe we'll just go with it. We'll just roll with it. We'll just see what feels right at the time, okay? Because I don't I don't know at this point. I feel like this is really, this should really not be up to me. I have tried <sighs> so hard, fought for so long, <sighs> but in the end, I must bid you all farewell once again. But before I go, I would like us all to remember the sacrifices that brought us here to this strange new world. This time, it is with the help of our lovely muse that we shall be guided. Oh, God, that, oh, fuck. Okay, okay. We let them rise. We let it happen. We waited far too long. We thought we shouldn't intervene. We were wrong. We were wrong. Since the beginning we were hidden. We held court from up above. Twas the golden age of reason, and I the queen of love. But a plague of hate was spreading, and there were vultures standing by. Before we fell to our knees begging, we fell from the sky. We let them rise, we let it happen. <sighs> we waited far too long. We thought we shouldn't intervene. We were wrong, we were wrong. Our so-called brother Ares sold his soul forevermore. He so loved the military. He became their dog of war. He denounced his loving family And with mortal guns and greed On a plate gladly delivered Everything that war dogs need He betrayed us and we let him And with them mortal souls long gone We thought we were untouchable We were wrong we were wrong. Oh, the power of the idols pounds within your chest. But for now, I am in mourning for a love gone unexpressed. He was harder than the chisel. I was a horrid block of ice. Oh god, 
I don't know. I don't know. your side now I no longer see the purpose of love when it tears at the center of me my arrows are rusty forget the bow but I won't be begging you not to go but when you're away you leave us a broken home could you leave me alone Lost in a song To it? Did it work? Oh shit. Mother, is it true? Oh. You've chosen to live. I have chosen to live. Let's fucking go. Okay. Let's go. All right. Oh my god. That was such a hard decision, man. Oh, I'm so sorry Jesus. for this. I made you so many promises, dearest, and I won't be able to keep them. My lady. All I ever wanted was for you to be happy. If this is your wish, I'll be with you at every step. I as well. Always. Yeah. I, I hope none of us regret this choice in the days to come. 
Yeah, me neither. Thank you. I really wanted to give her the mercy option slash like it should be up to her obviously, but like I can't convince her to do anything that she doesn't want to do. So I figure it's worth a shot anyways, because if it fails, then she's going to do it regardless, right? Like I can't force her. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Bro, this is not what I was expecting. <laughs> okay, I really hope this isn't worse. This will work out. You promise to help me. I mean, even if it was worse, she can always choose to throw this party again later on. Like if it ends up being what is the right option. It's not like she can never try it again. Yeah, you, you, you will. This let's do this one though. This is you'll get through it together as a family. <sighs> I'm stressed. <laughs> If there's any chance, mother, any at all, this is it. Oh, so sweet. I know, my loves. I hope you're right. What? Now then, Grace, you needed my help. No doubt <sighs> regarding Calliope's death. Oh, yeah. Have you any suspicions as to who might be responsible? I feel like this is not the priority right now. <laughs> Maybe Pan? Not really. I have theories. I do have theories. <laughs> Sometimes I really wish I had the clever option, but I do really like all of like the charisma stuff that has gotten us a lot of really good dialogue too. Um, okay, let's say not really. I don't really suspect Pan. Though he might have been involved slash know something, but I don't think that he's the one who did it. Oh, but maybe if I say Pan, maybe then she'll give me information about Pan, which we wanted because we were gonna go and see him after. Okay, let's say maybe Pan. I was uh, thinking maybe Pan. Pen, kill Calliope. Tish tosh, I don't believe it. <laughs> he showed up at my apartment right after I left Athena's office. He was very suspicious. You favor him too much, mother. I happen to feel there are entities among us far more sinister. Oh. You're thinking of Medusa, aren't you? Medusa? Do we get to meet Medusa? Oh shit, why do you suspect her? Yeah. Okay, I'll bite. Why would this Medusa be involved? And why isn't she a suspect? Mother has always distrusted Medusa. She works for Athena as a watcher. She's everywhere, lurking in the shadows. If you look anywhere, Grace, start with her. Mm. Come now, mother. It's time you rested. It's been a long night. Mm. If I don't, I suppose you'll both gang up on me again. Mm. Lovingly gang well. up on you, pet pet. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh. All the help so, you need achievement. Did they have anything helpful? Broke the cycle of rebirth. Maybe. Let's go. What do you know about Medusa? I know she she's romance dangerous, option? but she does Athena's bidding. How sure are you of that? I'm not sure of anything any longer. Fair. You aren't thinking of seeking her out, I hope. Oh, I can handle myself if I can find her. Is there another way? It's interesting though, because if Aphrodite is untrusting of Medusa because she's a spy for Athena, then isn't Athena really the untrustworthy one once again? <laughs> I don't know what to pick. Let's, I... Why not? I can handle myself. Oh, I'm aware. But you need to be careful around Medusa. Athena employs her as a spy master, a hound to do her bidding, a vicious yeah. hound at that. Athena's not likely to tell either of us where to find Medusa. I can't say for certain who would know. Pan would probably know. Are you all right, Grace? You seem troubled. Oh my god, he's worried about us. <laughs> I'm thinking about Calliope's memories. Aphrodite went through so much, I'm fine. <sighs> What you said earlier about Calliope's memories coming back. That wasn't how I wanted you to find out. Oh my god, he's I'm so sorry. disheveled. If you like, we can talk about it later at my place, after you've had some time to digest. Oh my god, I going back to your that. place? Thanks. <laughs> All right, I'm a little bit delulu. <laughs> You really are amazing, you know that? Every hurdle, every piece of unpleasant news, you just keep on going. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I am amazing. What do you mean I have no choice? Oh, let, 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 let. Uh huh. You going somewhere with this, Apollo? Oh my god. I just god. wish I could see the world through your eyes. Next to Dude. you, I feel very old. <laughs> Oh, this one has an uh, exclamation point, so this is an important choice. You are old. Can't help you. These have heartbreak options. Let me show you what I see. Is it that bad? Okay, I'm gonna pick this one. But honestly, if I were flirting, I probably would say you are old. <laughs> I mean, I love Apollo. How about okay. you come with me sometime? <laughs> Let me show you the world I see. A tempting offer. Sounds kind of oh. corny, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> it really doesn't. <laughs> I would love that. Can we go now? Okay, I'm game if you are. My hand for a we gotta let your hair down for a second. There's so much to like <laughs> if you open your eyes. If you try to search for the light, I'm invested. You might be surprised. No, it's not hard to find the courage you need to be joyful.
Is this in my head? Is this actually happening? Or are we actually to Lulu? <laughs> shit I've ever seen. <laughs> but I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Um, <clears throat> Alright, compose yourself. Talk to Pan. Talk to Freddy. Talk to Apollo. Time to finally see what Pan wants. Maybe he has more info. Yeah, I do really want to talk to Pan now that we've done all of that. That was honestly really not the turn that I was expecting. But, you know, it's fine. It, we, we ended up with some romance, so I'm okay with it. <sighs> this place is so pretty. I want to live here. I'd say hello, Grace, but I'm afraid that look on your face might be catching. Oh my I god. Just... <laughs> What is this place? It's a garden, darling. Surely even mortals have them. Bro, the darling gets <sighs> me every building. time. <laughs> all those people I pass getting up here. Sorry. Are they all idols? <clears throat> oh, at least some of them. Welcome to Olympus, dear Grace. Oh my god. Our home hidden away in plain sight. Marvelous, isn't it? Yeah, you are. I mean, um... <laughs> Is Olympus hidden? You asked me to come. How many idols are there? Yeah, is it I've hidden? I've passed this part of the city a hundred times. I've never seen this building. Was it always here? Or... Our Lady Hecate provides glamours that allow certain things to go unseen. Hecate. Such as my glorious horns. Yeah, they're nice horns. Olympus is the same. Those invited see it. Those who aren't see exactly what they expect. It's um... not anywhere as grand as in the old country, but it, it serves its purpose. This isn't grand. I don't know, Pan. Olympus seems pretty grand to me. <laughs> As if mortals would know any better. Oh, this isn't okay. the first time you've been here. <laughs> I'm sure Hermes took you to Athena's dreary office. Uh, that's here? Huh. Good one, that Hermes. Almost as dull-witted as the original, but biddable. <laughs> I like Hermes. How many idols are there? How many idols are there? I've met, what, less than 12? Oh, yeah. I don't know. 20, 30. Our numbers have dwindled so much I've stopped keeping Keeping track. I didn't know there were that many gods. There are so we're many. We're not all equally legendary, <laughs> it's true. Some idols were barely worshipped, others not at all. Indeed, not all of us are idols. Some are merely immortal. Hangers oh, on, okay. if you will. You'll meet them all, given time. I would actually like to. I want to meet like some of the less known ones. I think that that would be fun. Idols live here? I mean, Calliope didn't, obviously. Apollo doesn't either. One right. must have special dispensation from our Lady of Wisdom, Athena, before they can take up a private dung heap like Apollo's. <laughs> Am I going to have to give him my apartment? <laughs> That's rather putting the cart before the horse, darling. True. First, you must outlive the week. Right. Good point. You asked me to meet you here? I did, I did. Though I feared you might decline, considering your rather callous rejection earlier. <laughs> Regardless, my pride is intact, as is the favor you owe me, which I now wish to collect. I was expecting this. Not breaking the rules for you. Apollo was right about you. Oh. Let's not say that, because I want to see what he has to say. Should I say I'm not breaking the rules? I might break a rule or two for him. <laughs> okay, uh, Fine. sure, let's just pick but it. Just so you know, I'm not doing anything that's against the rules. I already have one trial coming. Grace, baby, boobala. Oh have my I ever led you astray? <laughs> Not yet. Oh my god, like stray? The thing. <laughs> stray guy? A friend has begged for my help, and you're <laughs> far better suited than I to offer what he requires. 
Thanks. I'll give you a key to reach the reliquary where he resides. You help him, and then we're even. If that's mm. not enough incentive, the reliquary is also where you'll find the lovely Hecate. Oh. A sorceress of her power could aid your quest. What do you say? That sounds pretty good to me. Uh, yeah, what I is guess this reliquary? Doesn't that have something to do with the bones of saints or something? <laughs> not those relics. Our relics. The relics of ancient gods. Magical treasures collected over thousands of years. Books, mainly. <laughs> we store them in a faraway place so no one unsavory can get their hands on them. Unsavory like you? Unsavory <laughs> like most. Athena has decreed that these relics are not to be used by any save Hecate and herself. Damn, he took that one personally. <laughs> a rather dull waste of so much amassed knowledge and power, but who am I to judge? I'm not leader of the chorus. Do you want to be, though, maybe? Mm, is it dangerous? If these relics are off limits, does that mean they're dangerous? Some, but I'm not asking you to chase after any of that nonsense. In fact, I'd advise against it. But what if one of those relics could help me? Oh. <laughs> my, my, such an adventurer you are. I didn't think about that. It's possible, but ask Hecate first. She... And I mean this with complete and uncharacteristic seriousness. Is not an idol you or anyone wishes to cross. Okay. Yeah, what kind of favor is this it? This person I'm to help. What does he want? And why can't you do it? Well, Grace, there are some things you're better equipped to handle than I. This, as I understand it, is a delicate matter of the heart. Oh. One that requires a muse's hand. A matter of the heart. What, did you think I was sending you to rough someone up? <laughs> Set something aflame? Don't be absurd. The man has an issue with his love life. I can help Even with that. If you can't help him. I'll treat the effort as worth the favor. Okay. That's it. Okay, let's ask this one because it's been This here Hecate. Day. Do you think she could help me? If she's of a mind. She is the goddess of dark magic, the creator of all our marvelous glamours. Oh. If anyone can help you, it is she. And if she's not of a mind? Then she won't help you. Grace, that part <laughs> is up to you. I can't be expected to do everything, can I? <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. That's it. So that's it. Fix up someone's love life? Nothing trickier than that? Oh, the way you talk, Grace. It makes me blush. <laughs> well, it's just that... I trade in willing favors, Grace. If I didn't, no one would want to do as I ask, and then where would I be? Yeah. I may seem untrustworthy, but allow me to reassure you. If I wish you harm, you will walk into that harm knowingly and with hope and awe. Jeez, okay. Oh my god. You have a very sly tongue. Um, are we gonna flirt? Even though I sang a love song with Apollo? You're saying you can talk me into anything? <laughs> anything you would enter into willingly and with eyes wide open. Which covers a great deal. Yes. <laughs> That's surprisingly ethical of you, Pam. Oh, I good. find consent wildly attractive, Grace. I find you wildly attractive because of that. Thank you. Well, think about it. <laughs> But no promises. Marvelous. Uh, the gentleman you seek is named Asterian. Asterian? Fellow, quite harmless. Now, if there's nothing else you need. Oh, okay. No dancing. Oh my god, can we dance? What? No offer to dance this time? Would you, if I asked? I wouldn't say no to a bit of fun. <laughs> A marvelous attitude. You'll go far with that. Now, if there's nothing else you need. Baldur's Gate 3 reference. Yeah, that's what I thought of too for Asterian. <laughs> what do you know about Medusa? It depends. What can you tell me about Medusa? I really thought we were going to dance. That <laughs> is a rather peculiar subject change. Her name came up at Aphrodite's party. I'd like to look into it. You'll find Medusa at a dingy little club appropriately named the Viper's Nest. <laughs> Give her my regards. You tell me you'll be careful if you go there, Grace, Medusa is a hideous creature and should be treated as such. I want to flirt with you after that. What the hell? Can I romance Medusa? <laughs> <laughs> I'd swear that was you being concerned for my welfare. I lied, I'll always Somebody flirt. <laughs> should be, don't you think? I can handle myself. I do love this about you. So capable, so heedless. <laughs> I'll send a package to your domicile that contains directions and the key you'll need to reach the reliquary. Oh, I said go. no promises. Well, if you decide to go, Grace, you'll still need all those things. Say hello to darling Hecate on my behalf, will you? All right. Oh, man, I thought we were going to have a dance number. Come on. 
I wonder if we can't do it because I already sang with Apollo, maybe? Nothing left to do but go to the reliquary for Pan's favor. Oh, should I talk to Apollo first? Why can't I talk to Freddy? Okay, and then I'm kind of blocking it, but there's also Medusa's lair up here. But I feel like it seems like we should do that after. I don't know. I kind of want to talk to Apollo or Freddy first. I just don't know if it matters what order. Maybe we should talk to Apollo first. I don't know if that's the right option or not, but... Hello again. Oh, I can't remember the last time I had guests so frequently. <laughs> I did tell you we could discuss your memories and the Eidolon more in depth after the party. Oh, oh, yeah. Did you have any questions or... Oh, I have a lot of questions. Will I feel different as I change? How many times have you died? Oh, I didn't even think about that, but I'm curious. How many times have you died? Can I ask that? Well, we call it passing on, meaning the Eidolon. And it's fine. Mm -hmm. I've passed on 12 times that I can recall. So Damn. your name isn't really Apollo. That's a lot. And most recently it was Lucas. Lucas. Everyone Lucas ever knew is gone, however, so these days I prefer Apollo again. Mm -hmm. Lucas. <laughs> Seems weird to think of you as a Lucas. <laughs> It was weird for him, too. Much like yourself, Lucas becoming Apollo was somewhat of a surprise. Sounds like there's a story there. I kind of want to know more about Lucas. I feel like it does kind of fit the surfer theme that we've got going on because of his whole getup, but then also the loading screen of his place kind of looks like a surfer place. Let's well, tell me about, about this that. Lucas. How did he become you? Or is it how you became Apollo? Apollo had taken to surfing. He left the city without permission and roamed the coast looking for... Well, I'm not sure now. Whatever it was, he found it one night when a giant wave took him down. He was drowning, and he thought, I thought, this is finally it. But it wasn't. Lucas saw Apollo struggling and swam out to save him. He pulled us ashore, but it was too late. It took a long time to realize what happened. I didn't return to the city until years later. By then, everyone thought I was Apollo's chosen successor. Oh. So no trial for you, huh? It wasn't easy at first, without memories or anyone to guide me, but no, nothing like that. Interesting. Hmm, okay. What if Lucas hadn't been there? Wait, what would have happened if Lucas hadn't tried to rescue you? What if no one was there when you... When I died, uh, then the Eidolon of Apollo's line would have ended forever, I think. You think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there have been stories about Eidolons that survive for a time and go wandering. That's probably all they are, though. Stories. It's not something we've had much opportunity to study, but normally... Death without passing on is how an idol really dies forever. Yeah, we kind of already know that because of everything that happened at Aphrodite's party. I feel different as I change. When all these memories start to return, will I feel different? Well, let's see. It starts as dreams you'll have of places you've never been, people you've never met, fleeting images, feelings. Then they'll appear while you're awake. You'll be eating breakfast and suddenly recall when you last ate something similar in the 17th century. The only difficult part is that eventually it can be hard to differentiate between your life and all those other lives. They blend together. It does sound confusing. <laughs> A little, yeah. Oh my god. And not all the memories will be good ones. It can take time to process. Sorry, his voice got so soft. <laughs> Okay, uh, sorry, we're talking about very serious things. Why not? I'm getting distracted. Well, I remember my you own said life. It becomes hard to differentiate your life from the others. How hard, exactly? It'll still be me, right? Grace, would you say that who you are is at least in part due to your experiences? I guess so, sure. sure. Well, you'll have a lot more experiences. They won't feel like someone else's either. It will feel like you did all those things. They will shape who you are now, just as they shaped Calliope and all those who came before her. The good news is, you won't get all the memories. Each time we pass on, the older memories fade. Oh. I feel like this would have been a good thing to mention at Aphrodite's party. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, okay, I can understand how that could be a good thing for, like, the bad memories, but that's kind of sad, too, for the good memories that fade. And really, I think the bigger question was that, will our memories also fade and be basically, like, overrun by Calliope's memories? But, you know, okay. Wait, how is it good that old memories start to fade? We're many thousands of years old, Grace. If all of those memories returned with perfect clarity, you'd... you'd drown in them. Yeah, but doesn't that mean you've all forgotten so much? Tell me. How much do you remember from when you were a small child? <laughs> Bits and pieces, I guess. Not much. It's the same for us. The further I try to think back, the more blurry it becomes. I remember the important bits, but little else. Some of the really old memories. <laughs> There's so many mortal stories that get mixed up with them. Things my previous selves learned as legends. It becomes hard to tell. It takes time, Grace. You'll remember all the lives you've led, but at a pace you can handle, and nothing more. Mm, okay, that makes sense, I guess. That's, That's a lot to consider. Assuming I'll even have time to worry about it, and what with the trial 
coming through. Hopefully this eases whatever concerns you might have had. Anything else you'd like to discuss while you're here? Oh, we can actually discuss a lot. I kind of thought that was going to be it. Tell me about the idols. Tell me more about Calliope. I want to know more about you. I'd like to know a little more about you. All I know is you live in a dump, you have an oracle, and you... I'm not sure what to tell you. One day has bled into the next for so long, I feel like I've been lost in the spaces in between. Wow, that's a bit dramatic. <laughs> yeah, well, it comes naturally. Music and the arts were once under my purview as a god. Oh. How did that get decided? Did you have a big hat full of pieces of paper and you all picked at random? No, we chose them for ourselves. Some, at least. Others were given to us by our priests. We collected godly responsibilities like marbles. People collect <laughs> marbles? Oh, um... Or uh, whatever it is mortals collect these days. Cars, perhaps? The point is, we took our godly duties very seriously. What were you like as a god? Oh. You must have been very different back when you were a proper god. I think most of us were. We saw ourselves as, I don't know, teachers. Mortals were our students, and we guided them to enlightenment. We thought we were special, infallible. I was as magnificent as the sun, and I surrounded what? myself with those who... <laughs> Basked in my radiance. Oh, God. That doesn't sound like you. <laughs> yeah. I was arrogant. If there was a man or woman I desired, then I had to have them, or there would be consequences. Oh. You wouldn't have liked me. Yeah. I wouldn't have liked me. It's a little bit icky. Okay, um, tell me about the idols. Tell me more about Calliope. Why is Persephone so angry at you? I mean, we kind of already know, So what is we? Persephone's beef with you exactly? Is it just about what Hades did to her? That's no small thing. Yeah. It seems more personal than that. I mentioned how Persephone's kidnapping almost meant war between Olympus and Hades. Yes? Mm -hmm. Well, while this was all going on, Persephone managed to escape the underworld, and I'm the one she encountered first. Uh-oh. Uh. Hades was hot on her heels, and I had a choice. Either do battle with Hades and start the war right then and there, or let him take her back. Zeus would have had my head if I had sparked a war. Oh. Yet all I still think of are Persephone's eyes as Hades smugly took back his prisoner. Mm. It's not my finest moment. Yeah, I would fucking hate you too if I was her. Jesus Christ. Have you tried therapy? Yeah, I feel like all of you could probably use quite a Apollo, bit of it. Apollo, have you ever tried, I don't know, talking to someone about how you feel? I will never understand this modern fascination with therapy and focusing on one's feelings. Oh, no. It might no. help. You never know. Yes, I've tried it. There was one I used to speak to. Hecate enchanted him never to reveal what I told him. It was interesting. Frankly, my time with you has proven far more beneficial. <sighs> I'm not a therapist, Apollo. No. I understand. And I don't mean to rely on you, only that it makes me happy just to know you, Grace. I mean, I'm glad, but this man really said I had one therapist and it didn't really work out for me, so I'm not going to try it again. Like, bro, <laughs> why are they trying to make me have the ick about him now? <laughs> God. I mean, okay, to be fair, I don't think therapy is for everybody. I think that it's worth multiple shots, though, at least, and then finding whatever works for you best. But I just, they really said, here are like five red flags about this man. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's hear about Tell Calliope. Tell me more about Calliope. You and her were good friends, right? Uh, for centuries, we were far more. I was the god of the arts, and the muses were my constant companions. <laughs> we went everywhere together. They had many names, but the three most common were Cleo, Talia, and Calliope. The sisters of beauty, I called them, mm. though they weren't always women. I never thought of that. Do idols change gender a lot? Most of us seek out inheritors who are like us, I suppose. But not Biking. all. Calliope, in fact, was a man in our previous incarnation. Okay. Christoph, I think his name was. Christoph. A poet okay. Calliope adored. I was surprised when she made him amused. Interesting. Okay. Who was Calliope after Christoph? Yeah. Who did Calliope know. become after that poet, Christoph? <laughs> you have to realize we're already into the period where Calliope and I weren't really speaking. Oh, okay. She showed up one day in her new form. The, the one you met, an opera singer whose name she never revealed. We fought, as I recall. I told her she couldn't pass on every time she met an artist she fell in love with. Oh. Eventually, she'd forget everything about who we were and where we came from. She said she'd rather forget than wallow in old memories like I mm. or the other idols were doing. It was time to wake up and make the best of our situation. Calliope was an idealist without compromise. Always. She hated what we'd become, what I'd become. She wasn't wrong. You and Calliope fought off. From how you describe it, you and Calliope fought a lot. As often as we saw each other, which became less and less as time wore on. Fair enough. However, she fought with everyone. Mm. Calliope hated the idols being kept secret. She and Athena would get into screaming matches over the rules, and it got 
so I could no longer protect her. You know, you're so she suspicious. She moved out of Olympus years ago and kept to herself. I just assumed she was wrapped up with some new artist when, when I got the news. Do you regret not making up with her? Every day I think about our last conversation and what I should have said or done differently. The problem with immortality is that you think you have all the time in the world. Well, even the first song that we had with him as well, it was basically like him expressing that he wishes he would have done something differently. Weren't there good things about Calliope? I'm sure there was a it lot. It wasn't only fighting with Calliope, right? Surely there were good things too. Is that how it sounds? No. She was marvelous. A force to be reckoned with if there ever was one. In the darkest days during the war, it was her songs that gave us hope. She kept Aphrodite alive through sheer determination, I think. <laughs> Calliope cared about us, about art, about people she'd only just met. It was her greatest strength as well as her greatest weakness. Yeah, even when she first she met us. Picked me. She was like that. I don't feel like I'm any of those things. You underestimate yourself, Grace. I see a lot of her in you. She chose well. I wonder if we're gonna start arguing though once we start to remember Calliope's memories and such. Yeah, what happened to the other muses? That's what, what happened I to the know. other muses. You mentioned two others. Were they lost in the war? Cleo perished centuries before. Mm -hmm. The victim of an obsessed writer she'd spurned. He kept her in a cage as his personal muse. Oh, that's pretty dark. It was. By the time we found her, she was already, well, it's enough to say her captor didn't survive her for long. Talia, however, Jesus was lost to us Christ. on the very last day of the war. We were about to leave on the ship, but she just never showed up. Do you know what happened to her? We never found out. I worried for years, even hired people to look, but as far as I can tell, she up and vanished into smoke that day. The war had ground her down. I was upset, but not surprised. Mm. So I wonder if she willingly, like, opted out, if she passed on her idol on, because the new one wouldn't have the memories yet, or like the knowledge to go and try and find them or if she just decided that she didn't want to continue like with the other idols and just wanted to live wherever she was very curious okay tell me about the idols i'd like to know a little more about the idols i am one now right you are what would you like to know well what are we where did we come from if an idol is a soul that moves from person to person it so must have started somewhere right the short answer is we don't know if i think far enough back i can remember bits and pieces i remember my first pythian games the day the Idols split in two over Troy the day my first son died. Oh. But before that, nothing. Oh, shit. None I didn't even did. think about kids. I vaguely recall the very first Apollo many thousands of years ago, but was he the original? Did he appear out of the ether? I couldn't tell you. Yeah, I wonder what happens with the kids. Would they be born with their own little idol on? Or would they just be born as mortals? Maybe they would be born as immortals, but without an idol on. Oh, ugh. It's starting to get a little bit complicated. <laughs> How can you not know where you're from? Isn't it strange to not know where you come from? For all you know, the idols could be aliens. Hmm, interesting. The notion that there might be some other place far away where we're the norm is comforting. Sadly, our memories are filled with blanks. There was a war with beings we called the Titans. Titans. Terrible conflict where half our number died, yet do I remember a single battle. The last was after Rome fell. Oh my Zeus God. called us together to relay the news, told us to prepare for battle, and then in the blink of an eye, I was in the 16th century. Interesting. What made us forget a thousand years what happened during that time? We don't know. Athena calls that period the gap. Oh, give me a second game about the gap. That would be fucking cool. The gap you mentioned. What was that like? Did you just wake up one day or? I know I was alive. I passed on my idol on who knows how many times yet. The moment I woke up, as you call it, all memory of that period was gone. Mm. It was Athena who found us. I was in. Of course it was. France, I think. She came to my farm, and the moment I laid eyes on her, I just knew. It all came back. Oh. Did someone do that to us? Did we scatter to the winds for a thousand years on purpose? It's a mystery. What about Athena? I mean, she's the one who found you, right? She must have been aware. Athena claims she awoke on her own and spent the next century locating the other idols. We've pieced together very little of the gap or of our origins. We simply live with it. Gods, we may be, but I'm afraid we don't have all the answers. Maybe I'm being too suspicious of Athena, but like, couldn't she just pick the idols that she wanted or her little crew if that was actually the case like maybe she i don't know like something along those lines but maybe that's like kind of thinking too far into it did you say you had a son earlier you mentioned your son dying did i hear that right can idols have children it was rare but yes back in ancient times some of them even became idols themselves oh. some of the idols cool. are actually family then not anymore most of our children met terrible ends a gift of the fates perhaps i don't know the ones who weren't idols it's hard watching your children grow old and die never understand 
understanding why they can't have the same immortality you do. Why you oh. can't grant it to them. Yeah, that's the question My I had before. My first song is why I'm not permitted in Hades any longer. Let's simply say that most idols have stopped having children and maybe leave it at that. Oh, this is making me want to learn more about like actual mythology and whatever because I feel like it's probably a known thing of myths and legends and blah blah blah. But I just, I am unaware. Tell me more about the war. Tell me more about the war. It seems to have had a huge effect on all of you. I don't think we would have left the old world otherwise. It was home. From Aphrodite's song, I know Ares betrayed everyone. What did you do? Do I want to know? I... I caused it. I Fuck. foresaw what was going to happen, so I tried to prevent it. Oh. I told Ares. I figured if the god of war couldn't stop what was to come... God of war. And that's why he betrayed everyone. He decided oh, the shit. idols were a lost cause because I told him we were. Okay, that's less bad than I thought. I mean, it's bad, but he was trying to help. Yeah, because he said before something about if he said it, then it would for sure come true. But if you didn't know, then there was still kind of the chance that you can change it. But maybe he didn't know that back then or thought that like it could still change. I don't know. Could have happened anyway. Mm, prophecy suck. That's terrible. Uh, yeah, both of these. I kind of want to see what he has to say Surely about that. Surely it could have happened anyhow. It was a big war. The biggest. Perhaps. We'll never know, will we? My yeah. time afterwards was spent helping the survivors, keeping us on the move. If Hephaestus hadn't intervened, we would have all been captured. And he's... Oh, gone now, we assume. Like so many others, we are nothing more than refugees from a war long over, Grace. Hmm. Okay. Was it hard to come to the new world? Was it hard for the idols to come to the new world? It's just a place like any other, isn't it? I don't think it was the place so much is the condition we were in. Shell-shocked, one might say. Our entire world had been turned upside down. Suddenly, we had rules. Secrecy was paramount, and no one was permitted to leave the city. Oh. Some, like my sister Artemis, couldn't abide it. Yeah, I've heard the name. Goddess of the Hunt. <laughs> oh. And a wild thing herself. She left, I think. Faded away without a word, as many did in the early days here. Damn. Huh. Later, Athena became even more strict. For our own good, of course, but it hasn't been easy. Sure. Uh, this city has never felt like home so much as a temporary shelter. I don't trust Athena. That's all for now. That's all I can think of for now. That was a lot. I'll see you around? Of course. I look forward to it. God, that was so much. That was way more than I was expecting. Okay, so I think we should go and talk to Freddy before we go to the reliquary, and then we'll go to Medusa's lair after that, because we haven't talked to Freddy in a while. Hey, hey, so what's the news, Miss Muse? Oh my god, so Miss supportive. Yes. <laughs> Well, does a muse have a proper form of address? I just want to hear what exciting adventures you've been having. <laughs> She's so cute. Well, I uh, stopped the goddess of love from killing herself, I guess. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Do gods have interventions? You know, they're nothing like I thought they would be. Everything else okay, though? Do we know who the killer is yet? Not just yet, no. Okay, well, let me know if there's anything I can do. If I have to hustle to become your high priestess, well, so be it. <laughs> okay. What do you know about the gods? Oh, I do want to know exactly about how much do you know about the Greek gods, Freddy? I know my Greek mythology, but what I've read clearly doesn't line up with who they are today, right. or who they ever were, maybe. Still might be useful. There's gotta be some truth to those stories, right? Maybe? Who do you want to hear about? Oh, shit. Can I ask all of these? Ask about Apollo? Ask about Calliope? Other idols? I kinda wanna know more about Apollo. What about Apollo? Okay, so the prophecy stuff checks out. Apollo was god of the sun and light, but also kind of of enlightenment in in general. He's always talked about as this beautiful and cultured god involved with the arts and the muses. Kind of a <laughs> renaissance man before the renaissance. He's clearly we had a rough time since those men. days. Well, he was also a giant horn dog, Grace. I can list <laughs> off like a dozen men and women Apollo has had as lovers, and there's probably more. Weren't they Nothing all like that? that, though? I mean, Apollo's no Zeus. He never assaulted anyone as a swan. And no, they aren't to know. all like that. Our sun god had a reputation. I'm okay with that. As long as he did not assault anybody, that, that seems fine to me. Oh, ask about Persephone. Tell me what yeah. you know about Persephone. Honestly, she's the least like her stories. Usually, oh. she's either a victim or just the wife of Hades, or both. Oh, and that's yeah. it? She was kidnapped by Hades, end of story? Mm, pretty much. Her mother was so angry 
agree she created winter. But otherwise, <laughs> Persephone was just your average sweet and virginal fertility goddess. You're right. That doesn't sound like her at all. It must be hard to be defined by this one thing that happened to you thousands of years ago. I'd be pissed if everyone thought my story ended there. Yeah. Well, she is pretty pissed. That much is true. Hmm. Interesting. Ask about Pan. You said Pan was some kind of lust god, right? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Pan's a god of the wild, and I guess that translates into a sort of lustfulness and earthiness, humping nymphs in the forest sort of thing. And you don't like him. Honestly, he's exactly what I'd expect him to be. All the stories say he's a lech and a beast. The Christians equated him with the devil. Yeah, really, but they say a lot of shit. He's supposed to have died, though it's never really clear how or why. Anyhow, mm. there's a great statue depicting Pan having sex with a goat. Next time you see him, you gotta ask him about it. The goat. I mean, he's kind of goat too, isn't he? He's got like the goat eyes and the goat horns and, you know. <laughs> I also think it's interesting that Freddy is kind of like, oh, I would hate to be defined by something that happened so long ago and blah, blah, blah. But then she's assuming slash judging Pan with that exact mindset. So, <laughs> okay, let's ask him about Do you know anything about the muses or Calliope in particular? Yeah. For starters, there were supposed to be nine. Though I guess there are some sources that said there were only four, maybe three. Three Each of the muses had her specialty. Did you know that Calliope is supposed to be the muse of epic poetry? She inspired the Odyssey. Wow. Mm. I don't even like poetry. Yeah, it was said her <laughs> singing yet. voice was unmatched. True. So they got that part right, at least. Did she also lead the ancient Greeks in giant choreographed dance numbers? Mm, no, but she once turned a bunch of snobby princesses into magpies, so there's that. What's a magpie? Ask about Athena. What about Athena? Is she really supposed to be the goddess of wisdom? Sure, but mostly that's meant as tactical knowledge. Athena wasn't all sweetness and light. She was a warrior goddess. Oh. She was also the goddess of heroes. There are loads of stories where Athena helps guys like Odysseus or Jason or Perseus. No female heroes back in those days? Yeah, <laughs> guess not. Women were the weaker sex, which maybe is why Athena was portrayed as being vindictive. Mm. She cursed Medusa, one of her own priestesses. She turned people into spiders, struck them blind, started the Trojan War. It's the whole thing. Not being as wise as advertised is on brand for her then. Hmm, so that makes me even more interested to talk to Medusa then. Because kind of phrasing that is maybe it's not true that she cursed Medusa and such. So maybe Medusa would be able to tell me more about Athena. Okay, let's ask about... Just how many of these gods are there? Everybody From else. what I've heard, lots of idols live around here. Well, there are tons of minor gods in Greek mythology. Hundreds even, depending on how you define them. Oddly, there is never any mention of the word idols in relation to them. Hmm. Maybe it's like how people worshipped idols? I sort of assumed it was related to the Eidolon. Which is a Greek <laughs> word, but I think it means ghost. An image oh. of someone after they die. Makes sense. Me? Yeah. I'm more amazed at all the big names missing. Not just Zeus and Hades, most of the Olympians seem to be gone. Mm. Makes you think about what's been lost, but also what might still be out there. Oh, the gap! The gap! God, I would love to have another game about the gap and be able to, like, meet all the other... Oh, God. I know it wouldn't, I don't know, it would be like totally different. I don't know how you would really spin that, but that would be very interesting. Let's ask about the other gods. You think there might be other gods out there? Well, there are all those gods the idols say wandered off. We don't know they're dead for sure, right? They could be living it up in Australia. Who would know? Then That's there are specific. all the other mythologies, hundreds of cultures, each with their own pantheon. So what's so special about the Greeks? That only their gods True. are real, right? True. All those other pantheons could be living in secrecy, just like the idols. And that means they're hidden from each other too. Oh, they could be everywhere and no one would know. It's like a whole other secret side to the world. Yeah, cool. That's cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hope we get to meet Ganesha one day. Or maybe Lakshmi? She's so <gasps> cute. Oh boy. <laughs> Enough about mythology. All right. It's very cute getting to see her like be so knowledgeable and excited about it. I love when people gush about their special like things that they love so much. Hmm. All right. I wonder how much of those stories are true. Yeah, it's hard to say. I'm giving you the quick version. There are reams of textbooks out there covering all this, but even they rarely agree with each other. Really? Mm. Nothing definitive? Ancient Greece was 3,000 years ago, Grace. Not much information survived 
survived all that time, if it was even valid to begin with. Fair enough. Mm, how have they stayed secret? You know what I find weird? That the idols have managed to remain completely secret all these years. Sure, they have magic and whatnot, but in all this time, nobody's found them out? Athena is that good? Who says nobody has found them out? The way I see it, it's like UFOs. Okay, I have to hear this. Okay, so you could have real evidence that UFOs exist and that governments have covered it up and people still wouldn't believe it. Why? Because they'd get laughed at if they admitted it. Imagine the headline. Greek gods exist and are living <laughs> among us. What among website us. would even run that? Weird conspiracy ones. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, somebody could have the biggest argument for it, for any of like these types of things. No one would fucking believe it. So I think that's pretty valid. Oh yeah, Howard Kaz and Brian. I think those are the other ones that were in our band, <laughs> if I recall. What are Kaz and Brian up to? You didn't tell them anything, did you? No, oh, I told them you came home, that you're okay, but that you're having a moment. They send their love. Should we tell them, do you think? No. What for? They have their own problems. Plus, Brian can't keep a secret to save his life, and Kaz <laughs> is officially homeless. Is he still crashing on Brian's oh, couch? Wait. Uh, Grace, you do know that Brian doesn't have a couch, right? Just some giant beanbag things? Then where is Kaz <laughs> Oh. Mm hmm. Yeah, I fucking called it. They'll tell us when they're ready. <laughs> but right uh -huh. now, it's best just to not mix them up in this. Yeah, I agree. It's also against our rules for the whole trial and everything. Sorry about the band. I should really apologize about the band. This kind of puts a dent in your plans, doesn't it? You're right, Grace. How dare you sabotage my <laughs> dreams? I am so mad I could spit. You know what I mean. Nobody could have seen this coming, sure, but it's always been something with me. <laughs> well, as I see it, there are two ways this goes down. One, neither of us gets back to the band. It was just a thing we did for a while before I founded a cult in your name. <laughs> or two, we get back to it and the band now has THE Muse as its lead singer. <laughs> Edge of Elysium becomes the coolest and most appropriate <laughs> band name ever. She's so God, cute. I still really hate that name. Look, Grace, you can't be the source of all the drama and name the band, okay? That's the rule. <laughs> no more questions. All right. Okay, that's enough questions for now. You sure? I can talk all day. You know I can. I'll check back with you soon, Freddy. Time for more mystery solving. She is very earnest. Okay. I always find it confusing when you can go back and talk to Apollo when I've already run his dialogue. Okay, I have to check. I have to check if there's something new. What uh, up? Hello again. Oh my. Hello yourself. <laughs> oh my. Ugh, get a room, both of you. <laughs> I want to thank you for the other day, Grace. I won't forget our walk anytime soon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I should hope not. Is there uh, something you came to talk about? No. <laughs> No, that's okay. That's it. See, I'll see you later, Apollo. <laughs> Just came to flirt a little. <laughs> okay, let's go to the reliquary. I feel like we should do that before Medusa. Why are you here? What? When I opened that shipping container, I was expecting, I don't know, rats. This uh, seems unsafe. Yeah. Instead, we have. Where the hell are we? It's hard to say. Weren't we going to some kind of library? Mm hmm. I thought you'd like it. This might not be safe. That's what I'm fucking saying. Maybe I shouldn't have brought you here. He's mortal. For danger. This isn't D and D, Freddy. <laughs> Some of these idols, they mean business. Uh, do not start this in D and D. There is literally no better preparation for facing a world of gods and magic. <laughs> Plus, my initiative is ace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you are such a nerd. <laughs> Cute. Speaking of, how much do you actually know about Hecate and this idol you're supposed to help? About this idol we're helping? Tell me about Hecate. Ooh. I, yeah, I would like do to know Do you know, know anything about this Hecate? It's not a name that rings bells. Mm, let's see. Well, she was the goddess of witchcraft, the really duck kind. <laughs> oh. But she's never really portrayed as evil. She was more of an outsider, lived alone, off in our little corner of the underworld. <gasps> do you oh. think that's where we could be? Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I bet knowledge is important to her. It could be an angle if you talk to her. You're amazing. Do we want to flirt? We're gonna flirt. I'm so glad I brought you, Freddy. Oh, I don't know cute. the first thing about any of this. So sweet. Well, I hope it's actually helpful to tell you these things. Why wouldn't it be? Because well, it could all be wrong. I would have never pegged Apollo for a surfer dude with confidence issues. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah. Okay, about this idol we're helping. The idol we're here to help is named Asterion. And you know who that is, right? No. Should I? A vampire twin. That's the from Minotaur's Baldur's real name. <laughs> You know, big bullhead, horns, lives in a giant labyrinth. Oh. And did not mention that. Minotaur? Why am I not surprised? What's a minotaur dangerous? This minotaur. You don't think he might be dangerous, do you? Well, traditionally he eats people, but he was also supposed to have been slain by the hero Theseus. Well, oh. not so slain after all. Pan says he has a problem with his love life. Hmm, maybe he needs to stop eating all his girlfriends? <laughs> okay, I knew that sounded wrong the moment I said it. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> 
I thought it was just me, but I'm glad that they addressed it. Well, we should go inside instead of standing out here in the fog. Mm -hmm. It's more of a mist, really. A sure. mist, potentially full of monsters. In we go, then. Are you really planning on doing that favor for Pan? If I can, not at all. I'm interested in the relics. This is my specialty. I mean, I kind of ace. Metal in love lives. Sweet talk, the goddess of witchcraft. Freddy, who are you dealing with? The master meddler and sweet talker. Damn straight. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you in operation. There's no way at all this could go poorly. <laughs> okay. Oh, my big lady. Hello, madame, Miss Mayo. I guess the Titan thing is literal, huh? Mm-hmm. Mortals within the reliquary. Who permits this intrusion, this sacrilege? This knowledge is not meant for the likes of you. I shall grind you into the dust from whence you came. Ooh, grind me into dust, Mayo. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. I am really sorry if we startled you. My name is Grace. We've never met before, but uh, <laughs> I'm the new muse. Can I'm a big scary woman. <laughs> big fan. If I broke a rule, I apologize. Han didn't mention anything about that, I'm, I'm afraid. You are Grace. <laughs> oh, shrink. Oh, shrinking to our size. How nice of you. Then Calliope is dead. Oh my is god, that her voice. I thought that was not for another 11 months yet. Oh, you knew that would happen? Wait, what? You knew Calliope was going to die? No, I am not informed of this for another 11 months and three days. Or <sighs> I could just tell you now? Interesting. That cannot be. It is written. Um, a prophecy yes, thing right maybe? here. Calliope joins Grace's band. They become friends. Months later, there is an automobile accident. <laughs> And an accident? Well, that's not what happened. Oh, you're saying the books are wrong. Oh, you have a problem? Seems so. It wasn't me, I swear. I mean... They're wrong about this. Calliope was murdered just a few days ago. That is impossible. I don't know what to tell you. You will explain. We will both sit and you will explain. There will be tea. <laughs> Oh my god, we're having a little Curious. tea party. <laughs> it is so clear cute. something unanticipated has occurred. Something <gasps> outside the realm of fate. Uh, is that even possible? It is. But I must follow the threads back to their source to find the origin of the deviation. It may take years of research. Years? years. I don't have years. <laughs> that is unfortunate. If there is nothing else, I must ask you both to leave so I may begin at once. <laughs> Can you speed that up? Is there no way to speed that up? Whoever's behind it might be the murderer. Such threads are not so easily untangled. I must consult the Moirai, if indeed they are not the ones responsible. The, the Moi what? You might know them as the Fates. They, or any beings of a sufficiently cosmic nature, have the power to undo the order of things. Oh? That does not sound good. Certainly not. They are also not beings I can summon at a whim to solve your mystery. I am sorry. Hmm, okay. So I wonder then if we could technically, if we were able to summon them somehow, undo everything to go back to before Calliope was murdered? But I kind of doubt it. I only came for your help. Can I meet Asterian? Ooh. Yeah, I want to meet. Actually, I came here to speak to Asterian, if uh, he is here. A visitor for Asterian? How strange. <laughs> Should I not have asked? Oh, uh, are we doing guests? Is that a thing? I, I, I didn't know. Wow, okay. Freddy was right. As if there was any doubt. My old friend, this is Grace. She is our muse from the line of Calliope, and it is she who asked for you. Pan sent me? Can we talk? Here for your love life? Let's not out his probably secret love. I don't know if Pan sending me would be considered a secret, because we already said that Pan didn't tell us in case if there was like rules that we broke, so maybe that's I'm fine. I'm here on behalf of Pan. He owes you a favor? Something to do with- No! Nope, shit, not Pan! Nah, I never heard of him! <laughs> Asterian, oh, of of course you know Pan. <laughs> no, nah, no idea what he'd want. No, sir, no favors. Uh, nah, not this mine at all. <laughs> there you have it, Grace. No, I believe now is the time when you leave. But yes, I think it's a secret. There must be some mistake. There is no mistake. Not this time. Are you sure about that? Because I'm not going. Don't fight her. It is written. Oh, Did you hear okay. that? Pan sends me all this way and Asterian won't even talk to us? Maybe <laughs> there's another Asterian? Yeah, more likely Pan's got me chasing my tail. This was pointless. Well, I don't think we're getting back inside. Do you have another plan? Hmm. Do we sneak in? I go back to Pan. Maybe we can use I don't our know powers. If my powers will 
will even work on Hecate, but it's worth a shot. Ooh, a musical number. Do you think this one could be... Uh, do you hear what I'm hearing? <laughs> oh, 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 you still here? <laughs> I had to run the entire... Oh, that's a long way, innit? In it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to send you away, all right? I, I just couldn't tell you. Not in front of Kate. Kate? Why not in front of her? Why couldn't you... Wait. Are you saying what I think you're saying? <laughs> oh, this is so great. I love this. I heard what you said about Calliope. I can help you. I really, really can. It, it has to be you. I am so in love with my dear, sweet Kate. <laughs> I, I just don't know how to tell her. Cute. Please help me tell her. Oh, yeah. I'm down. My Kate. Do you really call Hecate Kate? Off topic, I know, but I I have to ask. Sometimes she has to go into the mortal world for a short time and do things for Athena. <laughs> uh-huh. And... Well, she had to make up a magic disguise, you know, a new identity. And I, uh, I thought she should give it a proper name. And you suggested <laughs> Kate? Yeah, she really liked it. She said, thank you, Asterion. <sighs> <laughs> He's just like me for real. Let me get this straight. You're in love with Hecate. That Hecate. Hell oh, yeah. Mate. Kate is, she's just the best. Like, she knows everything and she always smells so good. <laughs> like, she's Cute. so nice to me and she doesn't even have to be. Oh, we got stuck in the tower together because we can't live in the mortal world. Oh. I know I could make her happy. Well, I, I want to try. Oh, won't you help me? Why not talk to her? Have you tried, oh, I don't know, talking to her about how you feel? <laughs> I take that as a no. I don't have the words. I've tried. Every time I end up knocking over a table or killing a cat or talking about how sometimes meat has that grisly texture I don't like. You killed Hold on. a cat? Back it oh, up. No. It was a small cat. I panicked. Oh my god. I'm just not good at words. Right? Really not good. Not the cat. You're really the minotaur? Are you really the minotaur? Like the monster who roamed a maze and ate people and is supposed to be dead? Uh, well, my father locked me up in a labyrinth, but oh. I never ate anyone. Oh, well, that's good. Why did he lock you up? But he, he was a bellend. <laughs> that's assume okay, I help Okay, so you're in love with Hecate. <laughs> What is it you think I can do? A muse knows about poetry and, and the heart and, and how to make words beautiful. It's so cute. All I want is to ask her, but I need good words. You know, please, please say you'll help me. <laughs> what will you do in return? What if she turns you down? Doesn't that seem weird? Ooh. Yeah, what happens if she turns you down? Because if you're both locked in the tower, wouldn't that be kind of awkward? Hecate might say no. You know that, right? <laughs> Well, she probably will. I mean, she's Kate. Oh. And I'm me. You're great. But just once, I'd like to be able to ask her, you know, to say it out loud instead of thinking it. I'll still help you, no matter what she says. I promise. That's very sweet. Well, he already said he would help us, but I guess I have to ask I do this, this anyway. and you'll help me in return, right? Athena made Kate swear. She's not allowed to say anything about what happens at the tower. Oh. But she never made me swear. Hell Maybe yeah. she never thought anyone would ask. But I'll tell you, even if Kate doesn't like it, I'll tell you. If I do this first. If you help me, any trouble will be worth it. I got this. Doesn't seem weird. Doesn't seem that weird to me. Okay, I have an idea. Y you do? <clears throat> well, y you do. You, my <laughs> bullish friend, are gonna sing your little heart out. Yeah. <laughs> Grace always has the best ideas. <laughs> oh my god. If I then you go for it. I'm not great at words. I'm, a, I'm more of a dancer. Then Just dance away. Be honest. You can do it. This is so cute. <laughs> you cast a spell on me. Not literally, obviously. <laughs> but I feel in summary, you and me are meant to be. Cause you put a hex on me You didn't do it to me directly Oh my god I'm, I'm not blaming you specifically uh, Just that metaphorically <laughs> Shit, can someone help me? <laughs> oh my god okay, What are some of the things you love about her? Oh, so cute so much to love oh i'm not saying you're fat I did not just say that <laughs> tell her something she doesn't know about herself mm -hmm. 
okay to to me you know you in rapture oh good word is your sure. pallid skin your lips are so thin your love of books a starian <coughs> i have but one thought why is it that you seem so distraught are you saying you too, girl. You couldn't possibly. Really? Oh, you're doing great. Give it another go. You've cast a spell on me. It's a feeling that's killing me. But let's say categorically, oh, Katie, it's just you and me. That's what I've always called you. <laughs> it sounds juvenile, but that name makes me smile. I've always wanted to tell you. <laughs> Anyways, as friends, I'm only a fraction of what I can be. I mean, I'll still make you tea, but don't you want more than tea? Is this what you <laughs> truly wish to do? This love could easily fall through. Imagine if we ceased to be. It's a possibility. Don't you see? Oh, God, he's looking pretty bad. <laughs> Hecate, he's doing great. This spell on me has blinded my eyes from what you can see if there's even the smallest possibility of losing you somehow no I'll take it back now oh shit I'll finish could someone please Freddy? rescue me I'm curious Freddy you gotta step in me yeah you're just as qualified as I am <laughs> come on Freddy I say he's really put himself out there now he cannot undo It's a brave thing to do Wish I had his daring well, I'm saying that I've missed out before Last chances rushed out that exit door I could never let my heart be heard oh. And it's withering Now I'm reconsidering Oh? I have always counted on you to speak to me honestly. You're at my beck and call. I've never thanked you at all. And yet you still love me. I let travelers know which way to go, but it bothers me. My own path I forego always seemed apropos. Yet where has this led me? Maybe one step across the line will weave its own spell in given time. The thought with which I must contend. <laughs> oh, can I love my best friend? Yes. yes. Just decide. <laughs> Asterion. Hate? It seems you've cast a spell on me. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Not yet. So cute. You cast a spell oh. on me to think I shall have my own story. <sighs> you cast a spell on me and we shall write it together. <laughs> Cast a spell on me. Fucking cute. A tale of romance and glory. You cast a spell on me. But do we have enough leather? You cast a spell huh? on me. <laughs> For what, Miss <Mr>. Mick? <laughs> oh, okay, I can take get it, I guess. <laughs> That's so cute. Well. That was diverting.
You felt this way the entire time, Asterion, and you said nothing? I didn't think I was worthy. I mean, look at me. I'm only, you know, half a man. You have Some been a devoted friend that. over the long and lonely years, Asterion. I only wish I had realized sooner we could have been more. As for you, Grace, I thank <laughs> you for cute. arranging this diversion. However, it came to pass. Yeah, I was curious because part of the lyrics she said, like in terms of regretting it or whatever, she said not yet and that it's written, which means that, oh yeah, actually here, I already knew about it and that she probably will eventually regret it. But you know, that's okay. I think that's one of those things where it's like, oh, after you go through a breakup or something, like would you have gone back, not pursued that particular relationship because it didn't end well or something or that it ended at all. But like the experience along the way can also still be good, even if it doesn't work out in the very end. I, I don't get it. Didn't you know this would happen? Wasn't it written? Of course it was. It was also <laughs> written that I would be unaware of Asterion's feelings until he spoke them to me. But you um, knew that. I follow the rules. It is written. Interesting. I'm happy it worked out. You could help me in return? Ooh. But she's not allowed to, so let's just say I'm, I'm happy. glad to see someone happy, finally. That yeah. would be me. <laughs> I am also not displeased by this course of events. Yeah. Wow, look at you. Living the wildlife. <laughs> Come, Asterion. I wish to speak of this further and find an appropriate outfit. Oh, of leather? <laughs> hey, wait for me outside, yeah? Gladly. <laughs> That was very cute. How very long sweet. are we supposed to wait? It's been over an hour. Meant to I'm be sure it's fine, Grace. I doubt the Minotaur would break his promise. Damn, an hour? <sighs> All right, Hecate, let's Same. go. When I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you still here? I'm sorry. Kate had a lot to say. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Is everything okay? Oh, well, I bet. That's what Ooh, I'm saying. I bet she did. <laughs> yeah, well, Kate wants us to uh, talk about our feelings more. Mm -hmm. And there, of course, was uh, tea. Of right, course. so uh, <laughs> I suppose you want to know how Calliope broke into the reliquary that night. She did what? Mm. No, uh, we didn't know anything about that. That's interesting. Do you mean the night she died? Oh, well, I, I, I thought you already knew. Uh, yeah, the, the night Calliope died, she, she broke in somehow. Mm. Thing is, we know she didn't take anything or even touch anything. I just remember the alarms and I chased after her. The reliquary has alarms? Did you say the reliquary has alarms? Like burglar alarms, cameras? Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. It just has a lot of protections. You know, magic. I mm. don't know magic, actually. Oh, uh, well, it's just meant to keep the dangerous stuff from being touched. It was set off, so something happened in the reliquary. We just uh, don't know what exactly. Mm. Yeah, so she was after something. How did she get inside? Those alarms don't go off if someone breaks into the reliquary. They don't <laughs> detect intruders. Well, uh, normally nobody does that. Oh, Calliope <laughs> did. She got in somehow. Well, she must have snuck in the back way. Where do you think I keep running from? <laughs> Whatever Calliope did here, it was enough to set off the alarms. That's all I know. Mm, okay. Did you ever you find her? Calliope, but did you ever catch up with her? Uh, no. If I'd have caught her, I'd have brought her back and Kate would have gotten answers out of her. All I know is, is that she was, uh, bleeding bad, but I don't know why. Okay. I wanted to help her, but she got away in the fog. Then I ran into Medusa. Wait, what? Medusa? Here? She was here? Yeah. Well, she's not normally here. I think maybe she was chasing after Calliope too. So maybe she did it, or maybe they were working together? Either way, that means that she got hurt here. How do you know nothing was taken? How do you know Calliope didn't touch or take anything? Kate knows everything in the reliquary, right down to the last book. She's been looking, but she can't figure if anything was touched. It makes mm. her so mad not to know. <laughs> and it made Athena pretty mad too. Oh, Athena knows. got involved? Yeah, when Kate finally told her. Athena wants Kate to keep investigating, but it doesn't look good. So Athena knows what happened here? Athena knows what happened here the night Calliope died? Yeah, Kate told her a day or so later, I think. We didn't know Calliope died that night, though. What? Athena didn't mention it? Nope. Not that that's weird. She's, uh, well, she's not the chatty type, you know? Suspicious. She came in all quiet and cool, wanted to know who was here that night and what Calliope might have wanted. She swore Kate to silence. Not me, though. Guess she's not as smart as Kate. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. How could Calliope have been wounded? I don't know. Maybe Medusa did it. Probably not, though. You know, I never saw Medusa near the reliquary, just out in the fog, so she never even got that close. Mm. So whatever happened to Calliope happened inside the reliquary? I guess. But we don't have anything that would attack anyone, especially not an idol. So someone else. But they did it in inside the reliquary. If so, they vanished after. Wasn't Medusa's whole thing like she turns people to stone or am I thinking of something else? So I guess maybe that doesn't mean that she couldn't injure people in a different way. I don't know. Mm. What was Medusa 
doing here? She was chasing after Calliope too, I think, but she wouldn't say why. I asked. Seems mm. pretty convenient. Her just out there suddenly? Yeah, that part's weird. I've never seen a nether reliquary before. Couldn't Medusa have broken in like Calliope did? Yeah, but I chased Calliope from the reliquary. If Medusa had been there, I would have seen her. Okay, what kind of relics what are there? What relics are there? Maybe Calliope was looking for one, but couldn't find it before... Yeah, that I'm not supposed to say. Do you huh? have the golden fleece, the shield of Zeus, the sword of Damocles? Is it suspended? Uh, <laughs> you know a lot about that stuff for a mortal. So it's all real? I <laughs> can neither confirm nor deny any of that. All I know is that nothing got used and nothing got taken. Okay, okay. That's all I need to know. This means Calliope came here the night she died. This is where she was attacked. But we don't know by whom. Well, this is the second time Medusa's name has come up. That can't be a coincidence. Well, she's super scary, but uh, you know she works for Athena, right? I thought maybe mm. that's why she was here, but Athena said she didn't know about it. <sighs> that does seem suspicious. Yeah, so if she was that's with all Calliope. you need, then I have to go. Kate will be so mad if she finds me gone. Good luck, Muse. Thanks, man. You okay there, friendo? <laughs> Thinking about Calliope, we made progress. Missing something. I'm furious. Oh, well, I obviously can't say these ones. I mean, we did make some progress, though. I'm just thinking about Calliope. What happened to her here? Whatever she was trying to do, she probably didn't succeed. She ran from here, dying. Maybe straight to our apartment. Yeah, because you were her weird. last hope. Yeah. What if she hadn't made it? She must have known. One thing at a time, Grace. You'll figure it out. I know you will. She's I so guess supportive. So. Next thing is to go back to Pan. Right. Tell him his favor is done. <sighs> <sighs> what an adventure. <laughs> Sorry? You're just lucky, Grace. Luckier than you think. You go do what you have to, and I'll meet you back at the apartment, okay? Yeah, so I feel like Freddy has a thing for Grace because Pan. of everything that she said in her song. I hope you're here, because I Maybe. don't know where else to look for you. Of course I'm here, Grace. Where else would I be but amongst the trees and the wild things? <laughs> I really must thank you, by the by. Asterion is simply over the moon, and he's already repaid me with this select tome from the reliquary. Oh, didn't you say that Hecate would notice if any book was missing? Oh, unless he's trying to make it seem like that's what Calliope took. You wanted a book. Yeah, what's the that's book about? That's why you did all this? Because you wanted some book? Not just some book, but a tome from the Forbidden Depths. Um. I doubt Hecate would be pleased. Oh, most assuredly not. Neither would Athena, which makes it all the more delicious. I trust you got what you needed. More grist for the mill of your innocence, as it were. I learned a lot. You knew I would. Stop playing with me. No charming one, man. It's quite the coincidence. The place you sent me just happens to be the place Calliope was attacked. That is quite the coincidence. You must be very grateful. Uh, it's just hard to trust a coincidence that big. Mm -hmm. You have no reason to be suspicious. I know nothing of what happened to Calliope at the reliquary. I suppose the question at the heart of this is, do you believe me? Mm -hmm. Hmm, not without proof? I think so, I'm trying to. Oh, but we can flirt. So, I mean, he wears things really specifically, so maybe he doesn't know what happened, but maybe he sent her there. But I'm gonna flirt because <laughs> I want to. <laughs> You're enjoying this, aren't you? This tit for tat, back and forth. I'll enjoy it if you're enjoying it. Oh, I'm not, not enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, aren't you a delight. Even if you haven't answered the question, <laughs> don't think I didn't notice. I've never lied to you, Grace, and I never shall. I don't believe that, but... If you're looking but... for innocence, however, <laughs> well, I'm afraid that's one thing I cannot provide. Oh my what if God. I discover you're lying to me after <laughs> All. You'll do what you do, and I'll do what I do, and we'll see where that takes us. I'll leave then? Some are good, I hope. Still need your help. Ooh. Okay, let's if say I need help. If you're still up for trading favors, I could use more help. Oh, of course you could. <laughs> if I can make a suggestion, oh my. live the high life. Throw caution to the wind. That's your suggestion? And why not? <laughs> Is it a devotion to sweet, sad Apollo that makes you hesitate? She Take my knows. hand, Grace. <laughs> Take my hand. Oh, oh my god, it's another exclamation one, so you can choose. Like, I guess if you changed your mind. Oh, fuck. But I want to romance Apollo. No, why did you do it this way? I should have come here first, and then I could have swapped my answer. Maybe? I don't know if that's how it works. Oh, fuck. Ooh. You don't know anything about what Apollo means to me. Um, I know there are better ways to spend your time before you... Uh, oh. Before I die? Damn. 
You don't have any hope for me, do you? Yeah. You're just taking what you can get before it's over. I've seen this story many times, Grace. I've told this story many times, and it always ends the same way. What's the point of even getting to know me then, right? Damn. He looks like he feels bad for what he said, though. Probably it was just a slip of the tongue. Oh, give me a polyamorous relationship. Like, just let me romance all of them. That's what I'm, you know, I mean. Because I feel like if I pick Pan there, then it will overwrite me picking Apollo. And I really want to go with Apollo, I feel like. Should I talk to Apollo before I go to Medusa? To tell him about Pan? Maybe? Or maybe I'll have nothing. Might as well just check, honestly. It's lovely to see you again, Grace. Oh my You're gosh. You're always welcome. Thank you. Is there uh, something you came to talk about? Nope. <laughs> no, okay. that's okay. I'll see you later, Apollo. I guess I don't have to tell him about Pan at all. <laughs> all right, I guess we'll go to Medusa's lair. Interesting. In an alley. This must be the Viper's Nest. Oh, Scariest right. part of town, no sign. Just that one dude glaring at everyone. <laughs> well, I'm here now. Just another day in the life of an idol. <laughs> oh, there you are. Man, this Freddy. place is the worst. I oh think my god. on me. What? Freddy, what are you doing here? This is dangerous. You I notice you skulking off? You didn't even bring any equipment, Grace. Yeah, you have a lot of fucking weapons with you. I adore you. Should I still be flirting if I want to commit to Apollo? I mean, it doesn't have the exclamation point, so... Freddy, please tell me you don't think you're some kind of adventurer. Um, I'm sorry, are you not about to head into a monster's lair at great personal peril? What else <laughs> would you call that? <laughs> You're such a dork. I adore you. <laughs> Good, because I'm not about to let you wander in there without backup. Who Cute. knows, maybe the stuff I know about Medusa might actually apply. True. Well, that'd be a switch. Can she really turn people into stone? Do you think she actually turns people to stone? Let's hope not, or this could be a short visit. <laughs> or a really, really long one. I'm True. serious. Perseus used a mirror to reflect Medusa's gaze back at her. Right. Or maybe you could use your phone. <sighs> you think that would work? Oh yeah, I guess. Unless you brought a mirror, Grace, it's all you got. Did you bring a mirror since you're so prepared? <laughs> Okay, God. I'll bite. What do you know about Medusa? Uh, well, you know, she was human once, right? And she was cursed. I know that Paul much. Oh, mentioned it, yeah. Cursed by Athena. Or so one of the stories goes, anyway. But mm -hmm. doesn't she work for Athena? Hey, don't look at me. My knowledge of this stuff stops at a few thousand years ago. Medusa's a monster, She though? was once human, but she's definitely a monster, right? <laughs> yeah, one of the worst. But, you know, so was the Minotaur. Asterion True. said she was scary. I have a feeling she's not like him. Mm. Mm -hmm. Then I guess you need to be prepared for the possibility that she is as bad as the legends say. Though some of the stories also say that she was wronged by Athena and that what was done to her was an injustice. Yeah. And Athena just follows the rules, right? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you want to use that sort of logic from the thing from before, is that Pan also said that Hecate was like big scary lady too. But she was like, ooh, big scary lady, not like actually bad. So Okay, enough talking. Time know. to do this. Uh, you have a plan for how we're getting inside, I hope. Maybe. <laughs> You're here to help? <laughs> Always. Then I have a plan. Use a distraction? Find another entrance. Confront the enforcer. Ooh. Should we use a distraction? I kind of want to try and find another entrance. I'm scared if I use distraction that it's going to use Freddy as a distraction, and I don't really want to do that. So let's try and find another entrance. We could honestly probably just talk to him and be like, I'm the muse, let me in. <laughs> but then Freddy wouldn't be able to come in, so let's just try and sneak around, perhaps. Ooh. Nothing in your bag for bashing a lock, I take it? <laughs> mm, I thought this was an adventure, not break and enter. What do you think adventures are, Freddy? You have I still can't believe you can do that. <laughs> it's like I don't even know you. Oh is this a good idea? What if Medusa like calls the cops? I don't think that that will be her option. Hey, you have a better is idea. A call? Your big idea was to distract the guy at the front door with firecrackers. Firecrackers. They're legal <laughs> and loud. Do I even want to know what else is in there? No, oh, it's probably better if you don't. I want to know. And nice. There we go. She's Coming? so cute. Oh, hell yes. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Time Let's to split go. up and have a look around. Oh, okay. Oh. Should I be nervous? <laughs> Who's that? Who are they? What a long day. a long day Dreaming of tonight This sacred Oh my god Oh there's snow 
woman. I thought they were just chilling. Turned to stone. <laughs> oh. Fuck. Okay, we're gonna fight it. What'd you say, Grace? You okay, Grace? Where's the game face this time? You are currently experiencing something I like to call the preparation. Any questions or comments? <laughs> That's right, it is widely known that I can turn folks to stone. But no, I won't this time. Oh, I just have to pick the red options. They're so fun. Medusa. She hides you Ooh. in shame, but she uses you all the same. This is so cool. You could live another way. If I was treated like you, I'd be a monster too. That's kind to say, but you could never be. Like me, you didn't kill, kill Calliope. She knows. So you know that it's true that I didn't do it. No, yes, you do know. You know, does that mean <laughs> Athena knows? No, mm. okay, bluff. It's dinner time. You're not gonna watch. Oh, 
Oh. You think that will hurt me, child? Please don't you hurt Freddy. You have not done your homework. Oh, sorry. Just trying to get your attention. Yeah, I've been watching, and I'm willing to bet you can't turn me to stone before I burn your snakes off. But I like her. It's okay, Freddy. Hey, stand down, Freddy. Let's give Medusa some space. Yeah, okay. I'm watching her, though. <laughs> hmm. You ready to talk? Oh, fine. Fine. What exactly is it that you want, pretty muse? Yeah, she thinks we're pretty. I think you're pretty too, Medusa. <laughs> it was interesting because I felt like that last option was showing us in reflections of mirror shards, and there was Athena in one of them as well. It's like we were using a different sort of reflection <laughs> to feed her. Not that we necessarily won, but... Yeah, I kind of wanted to pick the Apollo one just out of curiosity, but because it specifically said bluff, then it makes me not want to choose it. Like, if he could actually help her, then awesome. But if it's a bluff, then I feel like that's not very nice. Yeah, why were you at the reliquary? You were at the reliquary the night Calliope was murdered. I want to know why. Blast! This is why I didn't tell Lady Athena. I knew it would come back to haunt me. Mm. I only followed pretty Calliope to the reliquary. I never spoke to her, never even caught up to her. I swear it. That's what Hysterion told us, more or less. But you were there that night. Yes, yes, I admit it. Ugh, Lady Athena will have my head. She'll mount it on a pike. Whatever mm. you might think of me, I had no part in the Muse's death. I did not even know she'd been attacked until I saw her fleeing. You didn't tell Athena, yeah, why? You haven't told Athena any of this? I guess do because... I need to light things up again? Because I'll do it. Relax, Freddy. I, I told her Calliope was at the reliquary that night. I did not tell her I was also there. Uh, why not? Wouldn't Athena find out from Hecate anyway? Uh, I, I was not thinking clearly. I panicked. I... She probably didn't want to be framed. Lady Athena barely tolerates my presence as it is. If she thought I was involved in any way. If she even suspected. Yeah. Or maybe also to be framed by Athena, because Athena could have just as easily blamed Medusa. Why were you following Calliope? You followed Calliope to the reliquary. Why were you shadowing her at all? I am Lady Athena's spymaster, yes. Mm -hmm. Calliope has been trouble from time to time. So you were spying on her. I keep watch over every idol who no longer lives in Olympus, but especially Calliope. When I realized she was headed to the reliquary that eve, I followed. I had a duty to Athena. Mm, did you find out why Calliope did was Did you ever there? find out why Calliope went there? I was never close enough to ask. When I drew near to the reliquary, that is when I saw the muse fleeing. She was frightened, mm. bloodied, dying. Let me guess, that made you hungry. Freddy, I shut gave up. chase, yes, but to discover the truth, I knew Lady Athena would wish to know. That does make sense from your perspective. I didn't learn the truth until later, and then it was far too late. Man, I love Freddy, but dude, <laughs> she has like no empathy right now. Asterion said you two met. Asterion said he caught up with you out in the fog. Is that right? I thought he was the one who had attacked her. He oh. is a great beast of a creature. <laughs> he killed Hecate's cat by accident. But yeah, this true. still seems hard to believe. Yes, I only realized my mistake once I caught up to him, and by then the muse was gone. And you never found her afterwards? I thought she might flee to her pretty home, or to the sharp and prickly Persephone. She did neither. Oh. Yeah, she came to see me. I wonder why she thinks she would have gone to Persephone. I wonder if they were an item, because Persephone gave her the apartment as well. Persephone did say that they hadn't talked for the last few years, but maybe. How can I believe why you? Why should we believe you? You did just try to eat me, remember? She was just I hungry. am telling you the <laughs> truth. Right, and not at all trying to cover your own ass. You presented an opportunity. <sighs> To taste the sweet, sweet blood of a hero once again. Again. Yeah. It, it's a problem. I've been working on it. I really have. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, what a sweet. pair. The only reason I knew Calliope was going to the reliquary is because he informed me. So he knew. So much for never lying to me. Yeah. What are the odds, honestly? Let's true. Uh, put a pin in that for the moment, shall we? <laughs> I am a monster. It's true. I do not deny it. It's still, I did not kill the muse. I'm asking enough questions. Okay, let's say we believe you for the moment. I do believe Whatever her. Whatever you do, pretty muse, I beg you. Do not tell Athena of my indiscretion. Show mercy. I know. Oh, what mm. I am horrifies you. It horrifies me as well. I cannot help what I am. I did not ask to be cursed like this. True. Have you done this before? Oh, I wouldn't be able to ask that. You're joking, right? I'll think about it. Give me the yes, I believe you option. Discretion, <laughs> huh? 
That's quite the word for it. I cannot apologize for my hunger. I can only apologize that I am so very weak in the face of it. Oh, mm. think about it. I am a lost and cursed thing. <laughs> no idol. If Lady Athena should learn the truth... I... Oh, feel bad for her. I'm not gonna tell. I hope you find what you seek, pretty muse, and that we meet again someday and sing a different song. Yeah, me too. Like heroes before you achievement. He knew. Right from the start, Pan knew Calliope was there that night. Yeah. And who could have foreseen that he was lying to you the entire time? <laughs> who, I ask you, a mystery even the Oracle couldn't have penetrated. I wonder how that would have affected it. Like, if you have a romance with Pan, how that would play out, I guess. Pan might still be innocent. Okay, you're right. Makes no sense. Mm, I feel like it does make sense. She probably owed him some sort of favor. I don't know what sort of exchange happened, but obviously she was fighting with all of the other idols, right? And it seems like especially with Athena, because it makes sense, right? She's the person of authority. So I feel like they probably made some sort of deal of information or something like that. Maybe he sent her to the reliquary to get something, maybe that book, for him, and that she didn't make it back, maybe. And then obviously he doesn't want to look guilty, both for trying to get the book and also for her ending up dying. So let's go with Pan might still be innocent. Not entirely innocent, but like a little there bit. There could be a good explanation. Oh, yeah. great. He's just so sweet, so willing to see the best in everyone. Anyhow, you probably have a few questions for Mr. Goatman. I'll see you at home. You were awesome. You were. <laughs> Would you really have tried to burn Medusa's face off with an aerosol can? <laughs> Hell yeah. One hint of googly eyes and... So cute. <laughs> what would I do without you? <laughs> You'll never need to answer that question, Grace. Don't say that because now I feel like I will have to. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, hi, Pan. Oh, if it isn't uh, the lovely Grace? You knew. <laughs> right from the start, you knew Calliope was there that night. Well, yes. She asked for the key and I gave it to her, no questions asked. I told you I didn't know what happened to Calliope and that's the truth. Yeah, that's what I said. I did not. So I nudged you in the right direction. <sighs> you could have just told us though. I mean, this is all kind of the same thing. So you were what? So... Just trying to be helpful? You still aren't telling me something. What possible reason would I have to- Tell me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty Medusa as hell, learned man. that Calliope was going to the reliquary because I told her. Um. Now, before you say anything, I had no idea of the fate awaiting our dear muse. And you yourself said Medusa was not responsible. Yeah. I simply had to know if I, if I'd inadvertently, rather innocently... Mm. You sold her out? I don't believe you. Yeah, you kind of sold her sold out. Sold her out? She came to you for help, and you gave her whereabouts to the highest bidder. I am trying to help Grace in my way. What do you, what do you mm. mean, in my way? way what is what what way is that <laughs> the way where i don't take all the blame mm -hmm. what else will i discover pan i'd rather learn it now than later i wish i could tell you grace i truly do i wonder how that conversation would have gone if you romanced him maybe he would have then told us more time to head back home for now okay i one last time we're gonna talk we're gonna talk to apollo hopefully it's not just a high and by situation again <laughs> but... grace Hey. Back again so soon. Yes, yeah, sir. Did you find Medusa after all? Oh. You've been on my mind ever since you told me about her. I You've did. been on my mind since I fine. met you. I told you it would be. <laughs> okay. Okay, it almost wasn't fine, but it worked out. <laughs> Nobody got hurt. I see. Perhaps you'd best tell me what happened then. Mm -hmm. That sounds like quite the harrowing experience. One that could have gone very poorly indeed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I came to see if you were gonna try and come with me beforehand and you didn't have anything to say about it. So I needed to do it, but I didn't. You were worried. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were worried about me. I will <laughs> always worry about you, Grace. Oh Is my that a good God. Thing? <laughs> I'll take it as a good thing. If you've cleared Medusa's involvement, that still leaves us with Pan. Oh, about have that. You confronted him about it? Yes, sir. He admitted to selling out Calliope, but not to killing her. I don't know if I can believe him. I've never thought of Pan as a liar so much as a manipulator. Mm. Still, he would do anything to protect himself. Kind of the same thing. I'll have to give this some thought. <laughs> anything else you'd like to discuss while you're here? No, let me talk to you more. Oh, that's okay. I'll see you later, Apollo. Time to head back home. We're on day six already, Jesus. Grace's apartment. Let's go. 
Oh, oh. Hermes. Uh, hi, Grace. Her I can just so call nice. you Grace, right? Yeah. That's my name. Where's Freddy? She went out to get snacks. We were oh. going to watch TV while we waited, but, um, well, here you are. <laughs> What guy has an axe? Why can't I ask that? Were you looking for me? Waited. Were you looking for me? <laughs> All over, yeah. Athena sent me to find you, but it wasn't easy. Yeah, you must have been busy. Yeah, because I stand trial soon. Right, True. right, that makes sense. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I guess Athena wants to talk? I can zip us over to Olympus anytime, if you're free. This is what you do. Uh, yeah, do I have a choice about seeing Athena? I'm not in the habit of being at anyone's beck and call. I Except for maybe I guess you can say no, but I wouldn't. <laughs> if Athena wants something, she's gonna get it eventually. She had mm. that look in her eyes, like she really wants to talk to you. Yeah, she could always come here. Everyone else does. True. Athena entered the mortal world? <laughs> and now she doesn't do that. Ever. Can you imagine? <laughs> Athena never leaves Olympus. How does Athena manage never entering the mortal world? She doesn't have to, I guess. Everyone brings her everything she needs. And that creepy mm. owl of hers? Apollo says it's her eyes out in the world. It's everywhere. Oh. Watching. <laughs> so what? She just never leaves the building? Ah, uh, she'll go to the reliquary and places like that. Just never where mortals are. She wears a toga mm. and calls cars iron horses. <laughs> yeah. You would think for the god of wisdom, she wouldn't be calling cars as iron horses. <laughs> All right. Maybe that's supposed to kind of hint at her being stuck in her old ways, perhaps. I don't know. So this is what you do? Fairy people around? I'm the god of messengers, baby. <laughs> Travelers, doorways, any kind of transition, really. The old Hermes said that the transition part made even more sense for me, which, you know, extra cool, <gasps> right? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's true. I can connect any two doorways anywhere, just like that. So it's super easy to take people wherever. I don't mind. Okay. Do you like running errands? You knew the old Hermes? I mean, we kind of already knew that, but you mentioned I'm ask old it Hermes again. a lot. You knew him? Yeah. I was homeless for a while. It wasn't a great time, and he took me in. Everyone's on the same journey. He used to say, "Only the roads are different." And then he went on his journey. Man, I still miss him every day. Mm. Wait, isn't he still inside you? Aren't you kind of the same person now? Mm, not yet. It's only been a year. Maybe I'll feel him again one day. That'd be nice. Yeah. So I guess it takes quite a while. Longer than I thought, I guess. You say it's easy, but do you like doing all these errands? Huh. Yeah, I never thought about it. It's nice to have a purpose. Athena is super sweet, and she has a big, important job. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't I want to help her out? <laughs> She's super sweet. This nice. <laughs> Are you for real? Aw. Oh. Well, the old Hermes used to say that a willingness to serve is more important than a willingness to be served. Hmm. Okay. So. I suppose there's no point in putting it off. Do your thing. Take me to Olympus. I want to know what Fred okay. Freddy was getting. Oh, uh, when you see Freddy, tell her I'm sorry I couldn't stick around for the movie. And mind if I say something? Sure. Sure. You've changed. I mean, from the person I met when I first came here. When, you know, you got it together really quick. Thanks, I had a lot of help. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. That was very sweet. What? Choose your trait. Wait, so are we changing our trait or is this an additional one? Because this is grayed out. <gasps> oh, this is so interesting. I didn't think we'd get another trait. I kind of want to pick clever. I'm not going to lie. Every time that I have another option that's not charming, this is the one that I usually want to be able to pick. Oh, that's so fun, actually. I think I'm going to pick clever. I do really, I honestly really like the charming trait. There you but... are, Grace. Do have a seat. Okay. I don't like the word. I prefer to stand, thanks. <laughs> As you like. You've certainly been busy, haven't you? Everywhere I turn, there you are, including the reliquary. You know oh. about that, huh? I'm uncertain how you got access, but even you must have realized it's off limits, particularly for your mortal friend. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Well, I mean, technically, I didn't invite her. She was just there. I have to prove my innocence. You know what happened there? You're annoyed? Oh, should we go on the attack right away? I want to see but what- you know what happened there? Yeah. That's where Calliope was attacked, yet it's not where she died, Grace, is it? It's so because she made it part. all the way to my apartment, we shouldn't care why she was bleeding to death along the way. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. You think our judgment was rash? Your judgment. It was. In truth, I worried that giving you time, letting us all get to know you, would make it harder in the end. I am sorry, Grace. You may not believe it, but I care deeply. I care about what happens to you and to all the idols. Where's that gotten them? Like, you care about Medusa? Oh, I, I'm curious about that. But I feel like she'll just wave it off, so I'm gonna go with Charming. Do you really? Let's explore where all that caring has gotten them, shall we? You're holding on with a grip so tight, your knuckles are turning white. 
But that's not enough, is it? Every idol I've met is either lost or broken, or both. Yeah. They're all slipping through your fingers. If you actually cared about them, you'd do something about it instead of sitting up here worrying about your precious rules. Zeus was the first to leave. Cookies are still King there. of the gods. And we Ooh. don't even know what became of him. Vanished into the ether. Poseidon was next, walked out into the seas, never to be heard from again. Ares betrayed us. Hephaestus saved us. Hades was murdered, <laughs> and by one of our own. Yeah, but he the was a bad dude. goes on. <laughs> That's terrible. Why are you telling me this? So you add to it? That's what I'm trying to say. So you add to it. I show up and you kill me off because you can't be too careful. We are dying, Grace. I don't mean diminishing or drifting apart. I mean our immortality is disappearing. Very oh. soon now, the idols will be no more. We are a legacy that spans millennia, dating back to the very dawn of humankind. So yes, I care. I will do anything and everything in my power to avoid that fate, mm. even if it appears unfair. <sighs> I'm sorry. I could have helped you. Oh, God. Maybe, okay, let's go with the clever trait. Yeah, it's too bad. I've been an idol for five minutes, and I've been out there solving problems you've all wrestled with for how long now? I could have helped you, Athena. True. I could have helped all of you. But you don't see that, do you? You're so busy holding on to what you have, you can't see what you're throwing away. <sighs> I know we've put a great deal on your shoulders, Grace. I do. All I called you here to ask is that you please not make my job more difficult than it already <laughs> is. If you have any other questions or concerns, now's the time to bring them up. Mm, let's discuss Medusa. Yeah. All right, let's talk about Medusa. I do really want to talk about Met that. Met her, have you? Yeah, I liked her. She tried to eat me. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rat her out. Can you uncurse her? Ooh. Is yeah. it true you can't remove her curse? Oh. Or is she just too useful? I wish mm. I could remove the curse. I'm afraid the Athena who bestowed it is long gone. Oh. She was prideful, that Athena. As prideful as she was powerful, I'm ashamed to say. The current Athena is responsible for everything she's done. I am well aware, Grace. <laughs> what is it that you would have me do exactly? Yeah, stop using her. How about you stop treating her like a servant. Maybe send her somewhere she won't be tempted all the time. Yeah. Oh, well, if you happen to hear of a diet camp for man-eating monsters, by all means, do let me know. Now, if there isn't anything else... You're so unhelpful, Athena. Who can access the reliquary? Tell me about Pan. Maybe Pan what first. Do you know Pan? Pan? That's not a name I expected to hear. Been sniffing around you, has he? I have some suspicions, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Pan lurks at the edges because he likes it there, seeking out whatever profit he thinks he can get away with. <laughs> Avoid him, dear, or he'll stick to you like gum to the bottom of your shoe. So rude. Is Pan a killer? Oh. Okay, so you don't like Pan much. I get that, but do you think he could kill someone? <laughs> We've all killed, my dear. I was once a warrior queen feared by mortals and gods alike. <laughs> Another idol, I mean. Is that where your investigation has led you? To Pan? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm missing something. Sort of, but I feel like I'm missing something important. Maybe the goddess of wisdom could help me out? It not would be helpful her. to know what Calliope was doing at the reliquary, but she's not available to ask. Not yet. Not until you regain her memories, at least. That's Why what I'm saying. Put off the trial until then. That's what Seems I'm like saying. Seems like a good way to solve all this. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And trust what you decide to share? I I think not. You're so annoying, Athena. <laughs> you can access the reliquary. Who has access to the reliquary? Is it anyone with a key? Or does it matter? You gained access, so clearly it is not difficult to get. <laughs> Speaking true. of which, I don't suppose you'll tell me who gave you that key. Mm-mm. You're kidding, right? Pandit, I won't tell you. Same way Calliope got it. Ooh. If I say the same way Calliope got it, will I then say Pan? Because I don't want that. Because then she's just going to blame it all on Pan, and I don't want that either. Oh, I wish I had this option now. <laughs> I feel like if I say I won't tell you, she's going to hate us even more for being, like, not cooperative. Oh, fuck it. I'd rather not say. Well, you're loyal, at least. Yeah. I had to ask. You went to the reliquary? Speaking of the reliquary, you went there, right? Once Hecate told you what happened? Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, I was not impressed by the delay. Of course if not. you had known about that, the night Calliope died, would it have made a difference? Mm. The chances are exceedingly small that you attacked her there, it's true. Yet, Calliope was weakened, which made her more vulnerable prey for an enterprising mortal, one she knew. 
<sighs> Perhaps the incidents are connected. Perhaps not. I cannot afford the risk of uncertainty, Grace. I'm sorry. I do not trust her one bit. I'm glad I didn't tell her. I guess I'll get back to my investigation. I am rooting for you, Grace. Mm -hmm. If there's another way to resolve this, any way at all, I will take it. We could wait till will I get the memories really? back. Good luck. <laughs> Feel free to take a cookie on your way out. I'll take the whole damn plate. Thank you very much. No, the cookies. <laughs> oh God! I can't okay. I'm surprised. Athena has always struggled in a crisis. Oh my God! Oh, that's a nice way of putting it. Remember, she was a warrior. When pressed, she's always turned to that aspect, sought to maintain absolute control. It'd be hypocritical to say it's wrong of her. She's battled for me as much as for anyone. He's so fine. <laughs> I'm so distracted. She's trying her best. I didn't need a lecture. The idol's really dying. Oh, does he know about it? Do you think she's telling the truth about the idols dying out? Yes, though I find it odd she chose to tell you. Maybe yeah, Athena I thought... Mean. Who'd believe Grace if she blabbed about it anyway? <laughs> Sadly, while I'd prefer to stay in her good graces, I doubt that will be possible. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. What now? You may not like this, but you need to go back to the reliquary. I bet I know why to do what. That's not a good idea. I don't know why, but I'm going to say you it anyway. Athena <laughs> said something to me, that it'd be nice to know what Calliope was doing there in the first place. Mm. As usual, you're way ahead of me. Oh my God. It's the only piece of the puzzle we're missing. Calliope went there because she had a plan. But what plan? If she left clues behind, wouldn't Hecate have found them already? That's a really good question. Remember how I told you it'd be years before you got Calliope's memories back? Mm -hmm. Well, it's true, but not entirely. Oh. Okay. Can we force them Those back faster? Those memories are inside you. You go somewhere important to Calliope or touch something special to her, Oh. you will get flashes feelings do you want grace to go to the reliquary so she can have deja vu it's kind of smart whatever happened to calliope there it ended her life all we need to do is uncover those memories yeah you sure this will work are you sure about this you want me to wander around hoping something comes to me am i sure no no i'm not <laughs> oh, that's comforting. What if Medusa is lying? What about Pan? We could look into him some more, couldn't we? Oh, well, do you have a way we could look into those things without encountering even more lies? <sighs> Deja vu it is. <laughs> what should I be looking for? There's no other way. Is there really no other way? This seems a bit desperate. I think that's kind of the point, Grace. <laughs> there isn't much time left, and I'm out of ideas that won't take more time than we have. Well, there's always running, right? Grace leaves the city, goes on a world tour, becomes rich and famous. <laughs> it's just me. Okay, then. How do we get Last in? time Freddy and I were there, Hecate wouldn't let us into the reliquary. Not without Athena's permission. Okay. Do you want to ask Athena for permission? <laughs> it just seems like a radical step for you. A week ago, I would have said that breaking into the reliquary couldn't be done. A week ago, I couldn't have imagined being here. My stance on a lot of things has changed. If you have another idea, however, I'm happy to go along with it. Oh, reliquary has alarms. What about the alarms? Right. I'm not eager to have Asterion chasing me through the fog. Calliope snuck in without setting off any alarms? At least first. <laughs> well, I'll be following in Calliope's footsteps, won't I? What if I follow the wrong footstep and set them off? Then the alarm's bringing Asterion and Hecate, and all three of us do a great deal of apologizing. <laughs> Let's just hope that's all those alarms do. I mean, Asterion said that they don't have anything that could hurt us. Which I'd be Let's looking for. Let's say I do this. What am I hoping to find? Some memory of what happened to Calliope, even a flash. Anything that gives us something to work with. And if that doesn't happen? Make it happen, Grace, as if your life depends on it. I can really see why the idols call you the cheery one. <laughs> I'm sorry, but why is she here again? <laughs> so right rude. Then. She Back lives to here. The it is. <laughs> Any idea how you want to do this, Grace? Because I'm game to help. Cool. I'm sure we can figure something out. This feels like super dangerous and something that a mortal shouldn't be attending. I can't go into the reliquary with you. Not without tipping off Hecate. Oh. But I won't be far. Oh my god. If I get the slightest sense that something has gone wrong, I am coming in. Hey, yo. <laughs> Still, promise me you won't take Sorry. risks. Um, I can't promise that. I'll do my best. Don't worry. Um, don't worry, baby girl. <gasps> you're cute when you're worried. Well, then I must be very cute right now. You are always so cute. <laughs> Ugh. Can we just get on with this already? Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm in love with him. Why is he still in my apartment? That feels weird. <laughs> yeah, Freddy getting a little bit jealous. Freddy distracts Hector. Oh, be honest. Sneak in. Ooh. I'm just gonna be honest. Hopefully it goes well. I don't know. She made his tea. I'm not gonna try and lie and sneak. That would feel so weird. Ah, 
So, that is now. Oh, oh yeah, and she would have seen me. Uh, expecting us? It was written. It is written that you would come, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is so cool. I kid you not. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. It was written that you would sneak into the reliquary as Calliope did. So this oh. encounter is unanticipated. Your book was wrong again. I didn't want to sneak in. Yeah, I didn't want to sneak in. I figured talking face to face would be more civilized and, you know, less dangerous. Yeah. I appreciate your motivation. Though surely you cannot think mere etiquette will change my answer. No. Oh, this involves Athena? You owe me. Ooh. I wouldn't say you owe me. Me. Should Didn't I make you and the Minotaur, well, happier? Yeah. You did. It is pleasant. Isn't that <laughs> worth anything? This was true when you were here last, and yet I still considered my duty paramount. I guess it can't be mm. that pleasant. My happiness is irrelevant. I am grateful for all you have done, but my purpose here cannot be so easily cast aside. Oh, I can still say it. Okay. The only reason you won't let me in is because Athena forbids it, right? She is the one to whom I made my promise, yes. What if I said that she's a suspect in Calliope's death? Is she a suspect? Yeah. She's an idol. I don't know that she's not a suspect. Yet, without more evidence, isn't her command potentially self-serving? True. Good point. You will regret this. That is also written. That oh. is a yes. Freddy, maybe you should stay Look, out but here. but do not touch. The reliquary stores many artifacts, some dangerous. Got it. Oh, I feel like Freddy. Something's gonna happen to Freddy. I feel like she should stay out here. Oh, she dies. Okay, good. I feel like there's been so much foreshadowing okay, for Freddy to die. What the heck do you do now? Of all the times to not have Freddy around. <sighs> She'd love this. Yeah, but if it's dangerous. First things first. How do I do this? Where do I even start? There's a lot of fucking books. Calliope must have been here. She could have stood in this very spot. Maybe if I just sure. focus. <gasps> Calliope? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Where did she go? <laughs> Keep focusing, Grace. Uh. The really subtle Calliope theme in the background. Oh. <sighs> yeah, it's weird. Like, I've definitely been here before. So it's working. Oh, wow, there is a lot of things. Yeah, that's a big egg. I don't get any feeling from that. Will I know it when I see it? I'm just gonna go down the list. Instrument? Is that a weapon? A musical instrument? Hmm, maybe it's both. Mask. What did Freddy say about mazes? Was it always go left? Or go left and then go right? I don't fucking know. I hate mazes. They're very claustrophobic to me. Is this an armory too? Trident, apple. There are so many things on this list. Freddy? Are you out there? Can you hear me? What am I doing? All that'll do is tell everyone where I am. What does that have to do with the apple? Maybe we wanted to ask her about it? They should really charge for tours. It's kind of amazing. This is not very helpful. Maybe the scroll. I don't even know what language that is. Uh-oh. Statue. Shouldn't that be in a museum somewhere? Maybe an imitation mirror? So this has to be the one, right? Oh. This is it. Calliope was here. She was standing right here. And she... Oh. Interesting. What does it do? So cool. Oh, maybe don't touch it then. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Uh oh. Who? I'm sorry, we can talk about this? Do you work for Hecate? I don't think so. I don't think it will matter what we say Hello. here. Do you work for Hecate? Are you guardians or something? They don't look very friendly. Hi. How you doing? Maybe we should just run. Okay then. Or, you know. Oh. Um, yeah. Running is the option. They all got knives. See, so maybe this is how Calliope got stabbed as well. What's mm. happening? Why didn't it work? Um, this ain't looking too good, man. But why do they want to stab Calliope or whoever has her idol on, probably? <laughs> Like, is it because of the mirror, or... Are we about to die? What's going on? <laughs> Hello? Oh, Grace? Oh, fuck. I fucking knew it. Bro, Freddy's gonna die. Run. My powers don't work on them. They oh just my keep God. coming. Please don't. <sighs> She's so innocent in all of this. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare sacrifice yourself. You motherfucker. I'm gonna be so mad if you just... <laughs> Freddy! No, I won't let you- uh. Uh. Freddy! <sighs> Fuck. 
You gonna stab me too? What do you want? Why? Why? I don't. I don't understand the reasoning. Oh. God. Oh God. Oh God, Freddy. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, Grace. I thought you couldn't you come here. The Furies. <laughs> what? Who? Those beings were the Furies beyond all our laws. Not idols, but the embodiment of retribution. How did you draw them here? Oh. I didn't. There was a, a big mirror, but I, I didn't even touch it. There was only one mirror of which you could be speaking. That used by the goddess Nyx to contact the fates. Using the mirror would not have brought the Furies down upon you. Not unless the fates themselves decreed it. Oh, God. You need to help, Freddy. Fates, Furies. I can speak to the fates. Uh, you need to help, Freddy. I don't Freddy. care what brought them. They killed Freddy. You need to help her. I have no power over life and death, Grace. None of us have that. Of course not. You're just this a bunch no of guys. or spell of the reliquaries. <laughs> I do not have the power to summon the Furies, and I know none who do. You should consider yourself fortunate, Grace. They do not desist until retribution has been exacted. But what is the retribution but here? now is when you leave. Pray the knowledge you obtained was worth the price. I learned nothing. Good fucking lord. Apollo? Apollo, there has to be something we can do. Grace, I'm so sorry. Oh, fuck. No! It's not right! We have to leave. We have to leave now. Mm, poor Freddy. You're just gonna leave her corpse there? Dude, we can't give her like a fucking burial or anything? Oh my god. What? I'm like extra mad because we never get an option to tell Freddy to go home. Like she obviously should not be there for any of it. It's super dangerous. Mm. Okay, Grace's apartment, I guess. Across the sticks achievement. Oh, act three. Fuck! <laughs> It. All right, guys, that is it for part two of Stray Gods. If you like to watching onto the finale slash act three, I'll push a link the full playlist for this playthrough down in the description box and I'm also things down there as well. So today's episode ended up being a whole lot darker than I was originally anticipating, to be honest, with everything that went on with Aphrodite and then learning about all of the lore about the idols and everything like that. And then obviously ending with Freddy that way was just kind of unexpected, but like kind of expected as well. But don't get me wrong, I am certainly still enjoying it. I'm definitely very curious to kind of see how everything wraps up next time and hopefully we'll get a little bit more flirting but you know maybe i'm just a little bit biased towards that that is gonna be for me tonight though so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're enjoying so far as always of course don't forget to subscribe thumbs up if you're liking it helps me a lot but i'll see you guys in the next one okay goodbye